we do have good show uh, we do have a very packed show show. today we have so much going on we skipped last week and and uh in observance of memorial day um yes also had a lot going on you know that's one of those things man you got to know when in when enough is enough and when to say just let's let's take a break it's all good yeah i feel you man i have i appreciate the breather yeah and shout out to all of our armed servicemen all of our first responders everybody out there that are laying their lives down on the line you know it's uh man whatever side of the fence you're on man just know that it's a tough world out there and we appreciate all of our service people absolutely so i wanted to wait for dean but um uh gonna have to do cool story bro a little bit early i have it's kind of a special it's it's kind of a surprise well, we can wait for dean we can wait for dean yeah let's no we're gonna dean. wait for dean we're gonna oh. wait for dean but we're gonna do it you know as soon as dean get here because yeah. kind of got a special surprise and we don't have a lot of time with him so um it's a surprise i don't want to give anything away but uh i think it's gonna be cool and a cool story bro nice nice so. nice nice Heck yeah, there. Uh, I mean, and I figured you were also gonna want to do. Um, and I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to give anything away too soon. But I figured right now, since you guys have been covering the trial so heavily during pre-show, I figured this is a good opportunity for you to go ahead and let everybody know just how how amazing you felt when you heard the verdict. Oh, it's great, and I and I think we should save that. Just save that for why? Me. Just just say. So let's me. not talk about anything during the goddamn pre-show. Well, but we let's can talk, talk about, about things it. in the pre-show. Uh, let's talk hey, about. It. Let's I know talk we don't it. want to talk about wrestling, but Cody Rhodes put on a show last night with the torn <laughs> pectoral. You, you two are the only ones, and a, and a couple others are the only ones that care about that. Let's talk about the one that that every literally everybody was talking about the fucking trial. We're gonna get there. What I are you just, waiting? No, 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 there's no waiting. Go. All right, Troy, let's do it. Let's, let's go. Do it. Let's just do, do it, Troy. To... Yes, let's go. Well, we want to wait for Dean. Why? Uh, we... No, 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 no. Let's just do it, Troy. Why? You want to... No, I just yeah. say we wait for Dean and we just talk the trial and just do. I don't want to waste. I don't, I don't want to. That's the thing. That was that was my whole thing is like, I don't want to talk about the trial. There's so much yeah. to get yeah. into. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. I don't Maverick. want to talk about the, the trial like for an extended period of time. That's why I, I guess we're going to have to. All right, uh, just we're gonna do it then. All right, was let's it, do it. Was this All right, so was let me yeah. Here. So uh, let me go ahead. Um, I'd like to introduce to our show uh, the surprise guest. Is Johnny uh, Depp's here? Go yeah, go on, come on, buddy. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh. So here on our show, I'd like to welcome uh, Johnny Depp. Uh, we're excited to have you, sir. Uh, we've been working on this for a while. We've been kind of talking behind the scenes. Holy crap. And uh, we wanted to wait for our other host, but our producer, uh, he just, he was I dying to talk it. about it. Dying to talk about it. So I'm in shock. Um, <laughs> I'm literally yeah, in so shock right now. I just, you know. You're a big so get, excited. man. Holy crap. I mean, we're talking about taking our show to another level. We got Jack Sparrow in our midst. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's not jump ahead. Um, so, Johnny, like, I think I want to start out. We talked about some stuff, but I, I kind of want to start out. I I think it's burning in everybody's mind. How big was that, Dookie? Oh. <laughs> We have uh, we have some audio issues. We're not getting... It was. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We're here. We're this here. big. Oh, that big. This big. <laughs> and and... my tyad. Its nickname was Turdylicious. Turdylicious. Okay. So. So Johnny, uh, what I really want to know is is what keeps you up at night? Dookie. Dookie keeps me up at night. And, w- and why is that? Why is that? It's because at night I have really bad explosive diarrhea. So. 
Wow. And and also, Amber Heard keeps me up at night because she still comes over to my place and she sleeps on my doormat. Wow, that's that's insane. So, Johnny, um, you know, Disney has said they are not going to work with you again, and you said they're not going to work with you again, or you're not going to work with them again. But uh, there's a rumor that just came out that a high CEO in Disney said that Johnny Depp will come back as Jack Sparrow. I read about this. I read about this. So... You know, the, this is a really cool story, bro. If this is true, what what can you tell us about that? Yes, you read that. You read that right. You can read. You can read well. You read that very well. I can tell you that they came through with a million alpaca and a pack of smokes. Wow, so they met your demands. That's that's really awesome, Johnny. So my next question is, what kind of movies, now that you've gone through what you've gone through and the trial's over and you can breathe more lightly now and your name is cleared, what kind, type of movies are you going to do now that all this is over? Well, I want to do mega mega blockbuster movies but if i had to put it in ounces it would be mega pint of a movie okay okay that, that's exciting that's exciting um so i would like to give our other host a chance to talk to you um i, I wish dean was here so he could talk to you but uh i know he would love to i'm sure he had, had a few questions Bustos, the, the floor is yours. Uh, what would you like to say? You're on mute. No, yeah, I was going to say, I think that this is probably going to uh, be a part of the, <laughs> the show today, you know, just moving forward. But I do have some questions. Um, so I want to know what it felt like partying on stage, playing guitar oh, for Jeff so Beck while uh, while the, the, the trial and, and the verdict was in the balance. Mm, me party mm, yes so i got a chance to really sing the classics which includes all of my favorite choices and i sang greed day green day but the dookie album <laughs> i also sang one of my classical favorites, Buck Cherry's Crazy Bitch. <laughs> and lastly, I sang one of my favorites, I Love All the Way You Lie by Eminem and Rihanna. And that is my set. And uh, that is dedicated to you. Oh, oh wow wow that is definitely us we are a part of that group back since uh 21 jump street been following you that whole time this is an honor amazing yeah. gracing the presence of the good vibes pre-show that is that that is something that was totally unexpected troy uh you keep on excuse bringing me pitch. excuse me i i have to do an amber heard excuse me oh Excuse me. We'll pick me up to get through the rest of this interview. Oh, excuse me. Continue. Yes. Yes. I, I continue. felt like. Yeah, continue. <laughs> yeah, continue. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> so what's next for Johnny Johnny Depp after the trial? What's next? Well, I can tell you, matey. <laughs> that big things are in store i'm coming out with a new line of fragrances it's going to be the amber heard collection oh nice is this a collab with gwyneth paltrow maybe 
Mm, it's going to be very shitty. <laughs> <laughs> so, Johnny, you're over there in uh, England, and uh, you know the Jubilee just happened. What what's it like over in England, and how are they receiving you? And are you getting as much love over there as you get over here? Mm -hmm. Well, it's interesting. They've given me a nickname. They call me the Dirty. And I don't know if they call me the Dirty because of my bad boy image or because I have dirty clothes. Okay. All right. Because well, in England, they call poop the dirty. So if I have to, just an FYI. Oh, I didn't know that they call it the dirty. Well, clarification. A little, yes. yes. Thank, you for that. thank you for that. It's I an, got lost in it, translation. It's an English joke. Uh, yeah. For a yeah. cause. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's great. Motherfucking Jackson. Well, damn, I wish Dino was here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, like we'll take a, a pause for the cause until he gets back. I mean, it's just this is I, I'm going to edit. That's fine. Like, wait, that was good though. Excuse me, I have to do another Amber Heard. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, I'm leaving now. <laughs> uh, we'll we'll uh, stay on the line. We'd like to call you back. Yeah, we might have to. Call okay, you back. what I missed, but, guys? Uh, well, well, you missed a lot. Let me tell you, you had a celebrity here that we are gonna have on Lifeline for the rest of the show that we need to reach out. We can be able to find him. That's yeah. fucking dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did yeah, you yeah. say something's wrong with the video, though, Jorge? Yeah, something's wrong with the video. Uh, that, I, don't know. I was I gonna say, to yeah, we wanna bring him back whenever Dean's on. If we wanna. Yeah. yeah, we'll we'll try to bring him back. I, yeah. I think that, don't say anything, Bustos. I won't surprise. say anything. I am really good at keeping secrets. <laughs> but, yes. So yeah. we'll we'll double dip. Cool story, bro. And we'll just there were some cool stories. Uh, I mean, shit. There was a lot that that happened uh, since since we talked. Um, hey. Yeah. Well, to that we can whenever we do cool story, bro. We can and well, that whatever cool you have, story, yeah, bro. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, you, oh, that's the whole segment? You didn't actually get stories this week? Well, no, that was going to be a cool story, bro. Well, let's get some stories, bro. We sent you one. Me and me and Ashley sent you one literally earlier today. Yeah. Bro, Anyhow, that was uh, the, the whole segment. The week... Bro, you have time. Yeah, you, you got time, Troy. Yet. Yeah. Oh, oh, I got to do my segment that I'm bad, dude. <laughs> hey, so uh, this weekend was pretty fun. Uh Heck yeah. Man, uh, good weather went out. We did that party with uh, lots of parties, man. Like we said, uh, we were talking about last week, man. Like so many parties, and still some still to come, man. Hell yeah! Like you yeah. said, summertime, summertime jam. My goodness, a lot of partying, man. I'm Hell still yeah. trying to keep with my regiment and everything. I was gonna dude. say, how's that going with that? Is that affecting that at all? Uh, yeah, yeah, a little bit, you know, uh, I fluctuate, you know, yeah, me too. I fluctuate too, but, um, I, but I, I did have, uh, um, uh, I got started to go back up, mm -hmm. but then it's, I'm getting it back under control going right back down. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, man, it's, it's a, it could go, it could get away from you either way though. Like, I yeah. mean, if you could stack progress up if you're mm -hmm. on it or if you're not on it, you know, it can definitely get away from you real quick. Especially yeah. though, like you said, all the partying we've been doing, good food, good drinks. Drinks are oh. what really gets you. Bro, for real, man. I've been doing this margaritas, man. Ugh. You like you don't do the skinny margaritas? You're not into that? No, nah, man. I just make the you regular margarita. The, yeah. Yeah, because like, I mean, you like the frozen. Yeah. Or you do the on the rocks. You like on the rocks? I do frozen. Yeah. I do well now I'm doing frozen because I learned how to make them, dude. Yeah. Dude, they're dope. Bro, you got to come over to the pool sometime. Yeah, man. I know. Hell yeah. Yeah. We got to. I've, I've never really been a big swimmer, but the patio situation is, is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know, man. Like, I would I, I I would be in so much danger if I was in one of those, like, situational comedies where somebody has to be, like, they get put in a weird situation. They have to show their survivor skills, stuff like that. I'm not a good swimmer. I suck at heights. Um. 
you know animals is suspect like I, i'm really good with animals but like dangerous animals i don't know how i would deal with that <laughs> yeah um, and then like yeah like camping that kind of survival skills i don't have any of those i don't think well man um, you were never a boy scout no i always wanted to be um, dude let me tell you that yeah. being a boy scout is cool like i hope nobody thinks it's nerdy or anything or get made fun of because i think it's pretty cool oh yeah no i don't think so i, I mean I don't think, and especially like if you ever get to the level of like an Eagle Scout or something like yeah, that, dude. that's pretty amazing. I think, yeah. uh, I think ROTC is too, is really cool yeah. too. We have a couple mm -hmm. of employees that do that um, or did that. And I thought that was really awesome. I saw some of those videos, uh, mm -hmm. some of the competitions. I didn't know that they compete for that stuff. Oh yeah. On ROTC, they do like obstacle courses and compete to have like the best times. Yeah. Um, and that, Haven't you seen Officer Payne, I mean, uh, Major Payne? Oh yeah. Okay. Is that so? That's like the whole. Yeah. That's the whole thing. Yeah. 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 That's it's like, like a that. school of ROTC. Is that? Yeah. Is what that was. Oh, okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, or you know, yeah, it, it's the same concept. You know. Yeah. Doing all those for sure. Things. But yeah, we didn't have that when we were at Allen. I think they were just introducing it, and now they got one, which I think is really cool. Like I think I would have done that. Like something really structured like that. I think I could have done something cool. Yeah, no, I mean, I used to want to like do stuff like that. Like I was talking to a friend, um, like, I don't know. I always wanted to go to like, um, like a private school situation and like, mm -hmm. fuck it up. You know what I mean? Like yeah. rebel, like, uh, <laughs> we have to wear uniforms and put pins all over it. That type of shit. Like all the cool shit, rebellious shit they were doing in TV shows and movies, you know, that's always. Yeah. Fun. Right. That's right. This, and it's just not me. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not that guy. I'm not trying to ruffle feathers. I'm trying to like be under the radar a little bit at least you know mm -hmm. i think I'm, I'm definitely um an extrovert but like i definitely want to try to fly under the radar that's kind of my mo yeah 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 remember that one time dude have we ever talked about that one time when we uh made you know those uh films and edited video like with mr sparks did we ever talk about that hmm Mm -mm. And if not, let's go ahead and refresh everybody's memory. Yeah. So Chris and I, we were in broadcast journalism and we uh, actually, I edited this one with TJ, uh, mm. actually, but yeah, I think he might have been there. Oh, are you talking so, about the fire drill one? Yeah, I'm talking about the fire drill one. Uh, okay, go for it. And so we had to film a, uh, we, we were submitting our news stories for the journalism convention, the JEA and SPA convention. And I was helping TJ out with his film and uh, I don't know how he got the uh, idea to do, but our school had not had a fire drill and we had just moved into this brand new high school. It was Allen High School 2000. And, you know, uh, they were still, it was a brand new high school. I mean, shoot, the first day they had metal detectors, by the way, because this was after yeah, Columbine. That's crazy, uh, right? They decided to, and they even filmed a bowling for Columbine at Allen High School. Did they really? So, I don't remember yeah, that. Well, they filmed a scene. They filmed a scene of us going through the- uh, Metal detectors. The metal detectors, which is we really have, like, creepy. We had to have like clear backpacks or mesh mm -hmm. backpacks. Yeah. It was stupid like that. It was something really stupid. Yeah. And so anyhow, we- uh, we hadn't had a fire drill, so TJ started interviewing people. And, I, you know, TJ did a lot of work. I'd love to say that, you know, I helped out a little bit. And one of the ideas that I had for him was that we're, we're going to ask people questions of like, hey, when is the fire, when is this fire drill um, bill, bill uh, sound like? And, you know, we did a bunch of quick edits, you know, it's three, it's two. And we asked the administration, long story short, this put the administration on blast about how they didn't do these fire drills. And it was a really well put together uh, uh, short story. Uh, TJ won a superior award for it. I'm kind of pissed off because they gave somebody else credit that had really nothing to do with it at all. But whatever, you know, uh, that's neither here nor there. But yeah, so we edited this film and man, Duke's uh, Mr. Sparks, who was the principal at the time, uh, he was all... Um, he was enraged, man. But I guarantee you, I know, uh, it, uh, like after like two or three weeks of that film airing, uh, they started doing fire drills. So mm -hmm. it's pretty crazy, man. Yeah, man. Fun times. Fun times and wild stuff. We got to do more. Remember wins. Remember when with good vibes. Has anybody heard from Dean Machine? I have not. Uh, 
And so anyhow. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Troy, are you good? Do you have any stories? Do you have any stories, Troy? Or are you getting it? I'm getting it, bro. You gotta give me time. Yeah, yeah, you good, bro. We, yeah, We've been working I mean, on never... this all day. Uh-huh. I've been working on that interview all day. It was good. It was really good. That was awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. I fucking loved it. Fucking loved it. Fucking loved it. Would you? Uh, would you guys cook anything good this past weekend? Mm, what you cooking? Other than the, um, for the party, we did all them sausages, all the various sausages. I thought Ray did an amazing job. Oh man, that food was amazing, <sighs> dude. Excuse me. <sighs> yeah, for his party, uh, he smoked so much fucking meat. It was like brisket, ribs, chicken. Mm, amazing stuff. And then um, all of the adult beverages. This is my first, first uh, hangover in quite a long time i usually don't get them i don't you don't usually you're up and at them though the next morning man you were ready to get it yeah dude i know how to control my my liqueur oh 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 excuse me bro shots fired i've been doing this for quite some time (laughs) i am a professional partier that's true since back in the day since before you were able to drink yeah you know how it goes down Yep, you yep. are the like the professional partier. I didn't even think about that until just right now, dude. Like, if you ask me to party, you I'll should write be a like, book okay. on that shit, dude. Well, you should write a book on that shit on how to party, long. or just like etiquette, party etiquette, how to party. Yeah, something like mm-hmm. that. Do's mm-hmm. and don'ts of partying, tips, tricks, how to party. We could we threw a good. Party I mean, too. I think we threw. No, I mean, ultimately, it just comes down to self control. I mean, like just. I mean, because yeah. you can spiral out of out of hand. No, but I mean, point. like, I mean, you know, the ins and outs of like parties. You know, the ins and outs of like weddings. Oh, yeah. You know I me mean? because yeah. the DJ stuff. You know, so yeah. you have a bird's eye view on those types of social situations. So you you know, the yeah. faux pas that people make. You've seen them. You've probably seen all the cool shit. Oh, we dude, I've seen stories. a lot of good stuff. Shauna yeah, too. Of- so she's a she does the wedding photography. I bet you she can tell us some wild ass. Oh. Stuff. Oh, dude, yeah, dude. It's it's always a lot of drama and golly, it's just oh, I always have to preface everything is like, is there anybody you don't want me to mention? And then they start rattling off a list, mm-hmm. or you know, making sure you get the the names correct and yeah. recognizing folks and uh, uh, you, you know, knowing how to start oh, yeah. the the party with older songs and then going into the newer songs. Like a lot of people always start with the new and greatest hits. I don't understand why they do that. Yeah. Like, well, I, I think it's trying to, to get the kids out there maybe. Well, the thing is, is that the old folks leave first. Okay. Mm-hmm. So they want to party. For, so if they can hear their music first, they'll get up and dance, right? Cause nice. they know, Hey, we're not going to have a lot of time. Let's go ahead and dance and get it out. So you get the older folks dancing and while the old folks are dancing, all the young kids immediately beeline it to the bar. Okay. Oh. So they beeline into the bar. They start so drinking smart. some drinks. See, this is and exactly then, what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah. And then you go from seventies to eighties. Okay. And you start jumping up genres. Right. And then, wow. cause, cause then you're going to have the, the, the parents with the kids that brought them uh, and they're going to leave and they're going to, you know, be yeah. all like, um, and then, you, and then it's soon. finally the kids yeah. time at the end. Yeah, and then the when they cut, when they cut the cake, man, when they cut the cake, that's when a lot of folks leave, and that's when you got to crank it up the next level, man. That's when you bust out the Cupid Shuffle. So you let them eat the cake, then you oh, go into Cupid Shuffle because yeah. you want to keep them there, right? Get and so by now they've had a couple off. of drinks. They're 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 feeling good. We're gonna go to yeah. Cupid Shuffle, and then you know what? I'm gonna throw in the wobble right after that. You know what? I'm gonna do a two for a back to back with this, you know, the line dancing and stuff. And then I'm gonna hit them with the ha. You know, I'm gonna hit them with some Bruno Mars. You know, like. Uptown Funk or Megan the Stallion, Savage, Classy, Boozy, Ratchet. You know what? I've got my DJ equipment behind me right now, man. I've been I've been laying down some. Beats, We'd like bro. to see Jack Sparrow uh, do a set real quick on the yeah. Good Vibes podcast. This is episode ninety four, 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 four. Yeah, episode ninety four, boys. What you think about that? Insane. Insane to the membrane. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. I'm all about that life. I'm all about the karaoke life. I'm ready to go on tour. Yeah. We need to do a karaoke tour. 
Let's do another karaoke thing, man. I'm down, man. I'm down Where are we gonna have it? it? Rain shining, maybe. Why not? That was beautiful garden. Had their yeah. party in their garden. They've been working on that for a while. It's yeah. beautiful, man. It's botanical garden in your backyard. That's awesome. I, that I, really I, was I, I planted cool. some rose bushes this morning mm -hmm. at the old casita. Mm -hmm. You know, doing doing my thing, using my green thumb. You know, giving giving to the to the world some beautiful roses. Can you talk to them. Talk to them. I water them. I love them. It's hard, man. It's so hot, dude. Like it's hard to keep that shit alive. You got to water that shit every day. You can't you can't miss a day. Um, and then when it rains, you're like, fuck yeah, I don't have to do that shit today. Yeah. yeah. No, you're absolutely right. Flowers are pretty cool. And you and you keep them all well with the fertilizer and everything. No, you know, a lot of it, it's just, um, you know, it's just the watering. Um, we do a lot of hanging plants and then all my indoor plants. Yeah, that's like got good soil. And, um, you know, every now and then I'll put some of these like it's like this. It's basically like, I don't know, vitamins for like for your plants. And I'll yeah. use some of that. Oh, and then also like our coffee grains. I drink I drink a lot of coffee and you can actually pour uh, your coffee grains in, into their um you know really yeah that actually help? Help. yeah absolutely and you know you know you're not like throwing them down your drain which you shouldn't do anyway right works better for flowers not uh edible shit because it tends to change the flavor the, yeah it gets the, the gritty taste of the coffee you're uh you have some of that what are you botanist you botanist yeah a bit of bit of one i'm a bit of a botanist you know yeah, bro. I believe it. I know it. Farming, I know it to be true. I know it to be true. Agricultural science. I can do some land judging. You know, I, I I did some land judging for myself. I took some agricultural science. I learned that. I learned how to weld. Yeah. yeah. Dude, yeah. That, that is pretty crazy that they teach those. Do they still teach those skills to this oh, day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And then you can go to like, you know, I, can't, I have another employee that was in ag and then like uh, went straight into welding school and he's about to graduate and he's already like certified to go um, like certify you know welds so like he has to he gets to go to other other places and like check out people's welds and make sure that they're they're good and mm -hmm. so like it's that's right out of high school hmm. hell yeah cool. yeah man crazy yeah I, they, they didn't have shop back then did they yeah they did you just didn't and, go oh yeah i chose some really silly i don't know i did some no, I sat mean, prep oh did class you? i shouldn't have done that yeah that i mean that's i don't know there's so many electives like what i like there's just a lot of different options man it, it, yeah that's the cool thing about it yeah i should have like, done home ec yeah i did that i did that yeah i learned how to sew learned how to make i mean i already was like i've been cooking since i was a kid though you know what i mean that's something i've always had a passion for since i was a little like a little kid and we were like um latchkey kids and so oh, on summer times i would cook some stuff every now and then for my brothers and my brother and sister just for fun oh damn that's yeah. awesome man yeah we'd have like lunch and i'd do weird shit because i was a kid and i didn't know anything but i would like cook with like um like fruit sometimes like wow. like cook chicken with like nectarines and sometimes it would, work, it would be really good sometimes it was really weird um, you gotta try new things bro dude you have to gotta do explore you can, you can invent the you can invent the new i don't know next thing mm -hmm. what's you your specialty name? though you gotta go also have specialties or like your go-to you're like this is my best thing that i make like to seal the deal if you know what i mean what's mm -hmm. your your seal the deal meal Forget do you cook do you meal. cook for dates is that something you do uh yeah i try uh oh yeah you have oh man you have the fucking flat top thing right yeah that well i did not oh. anymore oh you but don't it's all good. okay okay <laughs> yeah uh but you know i that With skills that, I, I that flat top was a little it's a little bit difficult like it didn't mm. it wasn't an even surface you know what i mean Ooh, oh yeah and so Ooh. it was a little hard was it it wasn't like what you it's not what you were cooking on but what was underneath what you were cooking on, right like yeah, your yeah, balcony yeah. situation yeah 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 i feel you that is tricky 
Yeah. But so it's it was so always cool kind of looking. I always yeah, it was dope. One. It was dope, dude. I felt like I was always doing hibachi. What about you, Troy? Do you can you cook it? You can cook, right? Yeah, I can do some things. What's like your go-to? Do you have a go-to meal you can cook? If somebody was like, "Hey, wow me with this meal," I'll give you a million dollars if you can wow me with this meal. I can knock your socks off with my bacon and pancakes. Just, just simple bacon and pancakes. Yeah, I love it. What, well, what, you know, you can. Well, burn what makes bacon. them superior to others? Secret. It's a secret. Fuck that, man. This is regular old. That's just you have to put it on level amazing. three, three and three quarters. Just no, I do something with my oil. bacon. Like if if I'm really gonna do that, if I'm gonna make you a million dollar meal, mm -hmm. I'm gonna yeah. do my grandmother's million dollar meal, and I'm gonna do something that a lot of people don't do anymore. Period. And I'm gonna uh, fry. Yeah, no, I'm gonna fry you some bacon. I'm actually right. chicken. I'm gonna chicken fry you some bacon. Chicken fry it. Oh, chicken yeah. fried bacon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. My grandmother taught me how to do that, and it's fucking to die for it. Now you have a heart attack, but hey. Yeah. No, I'm like more. Uh, mine's gonna be a little bit more like I'm, I'm, I would say romantic, I guess. Make I cook a mean chicken pasta. Pour down. You make a pasta for someone. Oof. Sexy, bro. like if you make fresh pasta, I fresh, guess that's what I'm saying. Not like, no, you don't even have to make noodles yourself, but like just like quick little pasta that you throw together. Done, that's man. not sexy, that's Ooh, it's Italian sexy, bro. cheapo. Sexy. Did you know what? Sexy. So, here's a cool story, bro, and this What's is that? actually a fact What's that? that a lot of the things that over here in America that we've taken from other cultures and, and say are fancy and sexy, like French onion soup. French onion soup over here is fancy and, and sexy and yeah. got the cheese and the crouton and all that. Did you know that French onion soup is borscht over in Russia? Mm. And uh, it, I thought borscht was made with like beets. Well, yeah, but in France, it's just like what borscht oh, is okay, in Russia. Okay. It's, just it's, like, it's, it's, it's the poor man's Yeah, it's, it's like a goulash. Caesar salad. Yeah, it's well, the poor man's goulash. Yeah, well, there there's like this sea thing out there that looks like a like a big phallus object that folks didn't like. A gooey duck. All of us, huh? A gooey duck. Is that what that is? Yeah, it's called a gooey duck. No. Yeah, because they couldn't call it a gooey dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, like that's something from the Wild Boys back in the back in the day. They uh, they found a bunch of them. That's pretty funny. Well. But, yeah. But but they they never used to be the the delicacy that it is right now, right? No, I guess not. I didn't know that was like a thing. Yeah, it's but, a delicacy now. It, it used to not be, and then it it did. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm struggling. I'm supposed to try to be a pescatarian. Like I was going to start this week, and and I man, and then Ray fucking smoked all those meats, bro. You know what I mean? Be like that. And then it's like, ugh, it's just difficult, man. It's not easy to just like pull a 180 like that um especially like you already have all all this stuff in your house like what do you just not eat it you just you have to get through all that first i guess i, I don't know we'll see i gotta it's gonna take some time but i'll get there i'm gonna try it out i really wanted to do it i am definitely eating less meat that's for sure yeah dude it's hard it is very hard today i cooked some chicken kind of like grilled it a little bit put a nice little golden crust on it and love that yeah yeah, I got all. I got like so many of those quarter legs from Ray because he's like they had so much food. They're like, just take it, please. Take all the food. <laughs> yeah, I know. I should have taken a big plate, but I'm trying to be good myself. You know. Yeah, man. Like it's I really hard, am. Dude. Hot boy summer. We're in the middle of it, guys. Like. Yeah. You know. It's yeah, dude. We're in it. We're in summertime, man. Summer, summer, summer. Time. This is when a lot of people party, dude. We should. You should all be partying out there right now. Well, um, I don't want to start the show, but I do want to get, let's go. I don't think he had a chance to get to see it anyway. We talked a lot about uh, Top Gun leading into it. I think all three of us definitely saw it. So let's go ahead yeah. and get into um, the big premiere. Uh, it's been two weeks now. Uh, Top Gun came out and you guys were really, really hyped on it. I have on receipts, I have uh, some of the first reactions. 
I feel like you kind of since then wavered on that because when y'all first came out, we had it. We had no. Eight, I said this is a solid eight ten. Eight, eight out of ten. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Eight, eight out of ten, and then Jorge. Nobody yeah, fucking Cole, faltered on shit. You said that it was like the sum, the best movie of the year. I didn't I say never it said, nobody ever said that. No, You're I never said that. No, I, 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 I agree. I, I, I gave it an 8 out of 10. Go look. Go I'm, look. I'm looking I'm it up. Looked. I'm looking it up right now. I've, I've already looked. Up. I said solid 8 out of a 10. And yeah, he did say solid 8 out of 10. I'd say eight, okay, the same okay. thing. Dean asked, I, Dean asked uh, what, out of curiosity what my 10 would be, and I said Karate Kid, and that was the end of that conversation. Yeah, okay, okay. Look that shit up. Yeah, I don't know, man. Top Ten uh, for, movie, eight out of ten, but like in the biggest caps you could possibly write in text form. Four out of five. You know, You're just, reading to, just to hype shit. it up. Well, just first to hype of it all, up. no, I'm not a texter that hides shit and symbols and shit yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, doesn't yeah. mean shit. I just eight. How did I? You can't punctuate a number. It's just eight out of ten. Yeah. Yeah. So no, true. there was no emphasis on shit. I mean, eight, I mean that's but that's like what is that? It's an eighty. Like that's pretty good, right? It's a good flick. The only bitch I said I don't think it should be called Top Gun because it wasn't Top Gun. They all graduated to Top Gun. Yeah, and mm-hmm. they did some training, but they didn't do it at Top They're Gun. A Top Gun um, certified pilots, you know. Yeah, the flying was cool. Uh, the mission part was, you know, I don't yeah, know. It, it, it got it, a little. It got a little Mission Impossible. Yeah. A little bit, mission. Yeah. Mission exactly. Impossibly, and I'm like, man. And I disagree. I thought it was great. It just needed more dogfighting. Yeah, well, I mean, you can't. That's the thing about it is there's no such thing as as more dogfighting. Those are very isolated incidents. Like that's the whole thing they try to, and they do that. They talk about that, like how he's the only active fighter who's actually engaged. You know what I mean? They talk about Wait, that. What do you mean he's the active fighter? <clears throat> They, t- they talked about one of the students is the only active pilot who actually engaged and killed some or shot somebody oh. down. Oh, got it. Got so it. that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. That's how few and far between these things actually go. Um, Hangman. You know, it's not realistic to have multiple gunfights. It's not realistic to eject, uh, you know, from two planes in, in one, I don't know, fight scenario, war scenario, whatever you want to call it. Um, and so, like, it, it, there is there's a little bit of too much, too much. And well, time out, time out, hold up, time out, real yeah. quick. Okay, go ahead. So, on your point of you, it, it's not common to do. Of course, it's not common, but they're in combat. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you, from a guy that has experienced some combat, mm-hmm. combat is unscripted. It does what it does. You'll do shit that you would never think to do in real life. And I don't give a fuck how much you train for it yeah. or how much you think you're ready for it. it combat is its own fucking thing because you are, your head is on a swivel because you might die. There is a big chance that you might die. So everything changes. Yeah. And yeah. So it's very possible in that moment of combat that you could fucking eject from two airplanes because your first airplane got shitted out and you tried to get out of there on their airplane. You stole their airplane. Yeah. It didn't work yeah. too well and you still had to fucking bail out. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, but it was I mean, too many ejections. It was. Like, and, then, and then I disagree. We had I to play that second was, one. The, the, the way they did it was the right way because it was like they... I mean, you have this movie is like. Well, did you about, not get the symbolism yes, on the second I'm, one? If you let me get there, I'm trying to paint the picture. Uh, that is is this movie is <laughs> is is um, is Rooster is basically filling the shoes of, of Goose, and so we finally get all the scenarios we wanted to get because Goose died and he couldn't be there. Now we have his son to fill those shoes, and and they kind of have that redemption for him. So that's cool, but it's just basically the same movie. Just a little different. We see the same uh, thing over and over again. I disagree. Will you, will you watch it again? Yes. Of course, I'll, I'll watch it I'm again. Like when it starts, it in theaters um, again. Yeah, you got to see that. That's the thing. You have to see this movie in the theater experience. That for that, it did blow me away when I saw the uh, extended trailer before seeing the movie, and I still got all those same, um, you know. Yeah, you had no desire to see it until you saw the trailer. Yeah, no, and I still got all that because it was so fucking cool, all the movements. And that's the thing about it is, like, the very end when he flies off with the chick in the plane, that's Tom Cruise's actual plane. Like, he is an actual pilot. 
he yeah. actually flies those planes. He um, flies fighter jets. All movie that he's he working flies on. helicopters. He flies jets. He That's flies a P fifty one, bro. Yeah, he flies everything. Damn. Yeah, wow. That's he did that one movie where he was fighter plane. Uh, yeah, America. doing the cargo planes. That's where he did a lot of flying too. Yeah, That's he, amazing. How, wait a minute, don't you have to be a, a fighter pilot to have a fighter jet or? No, uh, I don't think so. But he's had fighter pilot training. Yeah. Wow, that's insane. You just have to have a certain class of license to fly that those types yeah, of planes. And I gotta say, for as somebody who uh, works in the the movie mm -hmm. industry, like like him going on a ledge and saying like, I'm not putting these movies out until it's the right time. I'm gonna hold on to these flicks. I'm not. It took him what? How many years? Thirty-five years to make this movie. Is that what it was? Yeah, it was supposed um, to be out in 2020. Yeah. Well, the, yeah. The, the the film was made, uh, finished, and they they held it out. But I mean, like even waiting to actually try to. Yeah, this film out. was done in 2019. It was done in 2019, but the also leading up for waiting for the technology to get there, waiting for um, them to be able to figure out how to make the movie. All that went into this. Uh, but then he already he already made all the Mission Impossible movies too, and he's waiting for the right opportunity to put those out too. So like I, that takes a lot of balls, and then um, it's worked out. Like this is one of his biggest premieres uh, of all time. So oh yeah, this is set out to be his biggest release. Period. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, what'd you guys think about Val Kilmer? I love that scene. Yeah, I oh. loved it too. He really can't talk in real life. Yeah. He was able to at one point, and there's a documentary you can watch. Um, it's it's uh, it shows you about his journey and what, what's going on with his medical stuff, and to kind of look back on his career and what it is to be able to communicate and all kinds of stuff. There's a lot going on in that documentary. It's really really good. You should check it out. Uh, but yeah, I, I thought what they did with this scene was really awesome. I've heard that he's going to be a big big part of Willow coming out. That Mad Mad Mardigan is going to be a part Mardigan, of it. Wait. And so that's gonna be awesome, and I can't wait for that. But yeah, that was fucking dope. Um, eight out of ten. I would say I would give it. I would give it. I get. I mean, I guess I'm in line with that. I, I think that's fair. I think. I think a, an eight out of ten is fair. Yeah, it wasn't a ten out of ten. No, no of course not. But it was a good movie. Yeah, ten out of ten is like Casino. Rocky, Karate Kid. Karate Kid. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I would say uh, Braveheart. Yep. Yeah, the classics. You know what I mean? Batman of oh, Michael Keaton. Yes, thank you. Yeah, Jack Nicholson, obviously. Yeah. So uh, overall, yeah, cool. Uh, it was good. You know, I was ready to see it. Uh, it was good. It was good. But I know some folks are on the fence. So, yes. So with that, let's go ahead and start the show. To all the haters and naysayers out there who said we'd never make it to episode 94. Well, we did it, baby. Woo! You're listening to Good Vibes. With Chris D. Troy and Jorge. We're up in the DF Dub. We are recording this from Allen, Plano, and Little Elm, Texas. Fuck the naysayers. They don't mean a thing. That's right. On this week's episode, we have... And... We are doing... This is the Good Vibes Podcast. This is episode 94. We are starting the show right now. We're going to do our quote of the day. What we've got here is failure to communicate. This is one of my favorite characters in all. Oh, of you get to do quote of the day. Yes, yes, motherfucker. You have a quote? No. Do, do you? No. I could have had a quote. I, I, I could have. You, have you, one. No, you're supposed to be looking for cool stories, bro. I've got cool stories. All right, cool, um, cool. But before that, let me get this quote of the, of the of the week, please. The truth is often what we make of it. You heard what you wanted to hear, Troy. Believed what you wanted to believe, Troy. And that 
is a quote from Obi Wan Kenobi because that shit is out and it is fire, and I can't wait to talk about it later. So I wanted to get a, an Obi Wan quote. Yeah. I've watched wow. all of them, but the third one I haven't watched the third. Oh, one oh, you son of a bitch! That's the best one, man. So, who? Uh... I'll walk away when you talk about it. Okay, we don't have to talk about it in that great a detail. We can just talk about what we've seen so far, and that's fine. Man, that's incredible that somebody could write something like that. What, like the Obi Wan character, or just the yeah, quote? the Obi Wan uh, quote that you just wrote? Oh, said. yeah. No, yeah. I mean, you know, that's the whole thing about about Jedi's and and and. You know, nothing. It's just like being a Buddhist, you know, nothing is what it, you know, like in, in, but in a weird way, like nothing is what it appears like you can't have any desires like you got to be pure of heart. No, you can't have any kind of, you know, and some things are like use anger, you know, like some people do that. So maybe, like that's part of other stories and stuff like that. Not with the Jedi, man, you can't let any of that shit in. You got to be all good. Yeah. Is uh is Dean coming tonight? Because yeah, if yeah. not, we should just let Johnny guest us. Yeah, I mean he's here. Let's go ahead and bust him out. No, yeah, he'll be here. He'll be here later. I just I, I want it to be a surprise. Yeah, it's fine. I'd rather see him the rest of the show than not see him the rest of the show. You know what I mean? Yeah, so go ahead and come on screen, Jorge. Come on screen. Come on. Down. I mean, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. We want Johnny. We want Johnny. We want Johnny. Hell yes. Welcome to the show, Mr. Johnny Depp. Yeah, so Jorge gave up his spot, and uh, Johnny's going to be with us the rest of the show. That's right. That's right. Uh, yeah, we just did quote of the day. Are you a Star Wars fan? Are you of the dark side or are you of the Jedi side? The light. Well, if you mean by dark side, Amber Heard's ass, then no. I am on the I am on the good side. The good side. That's right. Yeah, I'm a Sith. Ass. You are a Sith. Yes, yes, yes. You are you are the least Sithy Sith of all the Sith. How am I the least if he said? Because you got to be like, you know, um, evil. No, you don't have to be evil. I mean, yeah, that helps. But I mean, like, you got to be clean, bro. You got to have like, like all black. You got to be like, you know what I mean? You, you can't be just like walking around and whatever. That's not true. Yes. You've never seen a sloppy Sith, bro. I'm just saying that. I, no offense. I'm not sloppy. First off, I just wear what I fucking wear. Second off. Um, the fucking entire Star Wars fucking series is sloppy. Mm, I mean, okay. Sith Lord. I never said I was a Sith Lord. I ain't rocking <laughs> that kind of shit. I ain't no Sith okay. officer. I'm just a Sith. Okay. You see okay. plenty of sloppy Sith. Okay. Who? So name one. <laughs> what, name one. Sith. The Sith aren't just like the Jedi, where every Jedi is just. Good, you know, I, I work for the uh, yeah, no, yeah, it is that it is. You're either a Sith, that's like a je- you can't just what are you talking about? I am, you can be a, I am you can, I'm you a can, Sith, I can be a Sith if I want to be a Sith. No, it's my fucking right, yes, I can, no. yes, I can. You're yeah. not, there's a dress code to Star be a Wars Sith, God. there's a dress code. I'm sorry, there's you're a dress not a code. Star Wars God, you should be a there's Jedi, not. just just be a Jedi, you can wear a robe, you can get out of bed, wear a robe, just be a Jedi, yeah. and that's fine. But no, I'm you want to be a Sith. You want to take it that a, level, bro. You gotta, dude, you got to crease bro. your fucking pants. You got to have even tiny ass fucking, boots. You got to have. Not even you gotta have of bro, that. You got to have red and black mix. You know what I mean? You got to do all that shit. I'm not even Where part of boots? it, bro. I don't. I don't I'm, not, I'm not. I'm a pacifist, bro. I'm a lover, bro. Like, yeah, it's on your skin. No. Yes, yeah, you got it tattooed on your fucking <laughs> skin. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> Who's got who now? Yeah, Why don't man. you go show us your fucking Darth Vader That's tattoo? Right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Mister, wow. I'm not a part of it. You got to dress a certain way, but I got a peach colored shirt on today and I yeah. look like the Beach Boys got hungry. That's right, bro. That's right. You got to you got to floss, man. You got to That's what I'm saying. Like I'm a Sith, motherfucker. You. I'm a Sith. Okay, and you're a Jedi. You're no a dirty ass shit. little Jedi coming out of the cave. Like, no what, fucking like you ain't uh, flossing. Uh, like, what's going on? 
oh, there's a battle. Let me come over here. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Like, you don't see these. These aren't your droids you're looking for. These are different droids. <laughs> I can see that. They're farmers, right? <clears throat> well, like, Skywalker was a farmer. You know, he could do, you know, he can. He was like, he's got a hemi, right? Like, my, uh, my spaceship's uh, got a hemi in it. What funny. is that game? With the racing He's pod racing, pod He's racing. My pod racer's got a Hemi in it. You're funny. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So I'm excited about that show. It's a good shit. I guess we kind of got into it, but before that, before we get into the actual show, it is time for cool story, bro. More like okay. a tight story, bro. All right. I just got a few for you today. Uh, Uh, yes, the first one is Cake in Mona Lisa, Lost Robot, Squirrel Got Curious, and Back to Greece. I will do uh, Johnny Depp. Back to Greece. All right. After a string of adventures, an ancient gold ring is finally back in Greece. A more than 3,000-year-old gold signet ring that was stolen from an Aegean island in World War II crossed the Atlantic, was bought by a Nobel Prize-winning Hungarian scientist, and ended up in a Swedish mu museum, has finally found its way back to Greece. After 3,000 years. <clears throat> Can you believe that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Mm -mm. That's crazy. You want to hear more of the story? Nope. Nope. Not at all. <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't like that? That's a crazy story, bro. No. no. The one I sent you, I like better than that one yet. But I'm sure these other ones are good. Okay, what more I can't more get, I cannot get Facebook Messenger to work, so I can't get the stories off of you it. You got kicked off of Facebook Messenger doing some dirt. You're doing some dirt. Because I wanted to do, I didn't want to do your story, but I wanted to do Ashley's story. That's the one I'm talking about. It's a beautiful story about a, 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 the dog? a dog. Yes. Yeah, I wanted to do it, but uh, hold on. Let me see if I can pull it up. Okay, okay. But anyway, what are the options? What are the options? No, we're going to do the dog. Okay, okay. Let's do the dog. We can call this one Water Dog. I better be blown away. All right. Water because normally, dog. it's whenever... a beautiful story, man. Oh, my God. If you can normally find the you video, you got to watch it because it is heart touching. It's heartwarming. Yeah, normally, you. Uh... Me and Bridget had finished dragging, and we were just uh, headed back to the dock. Well, monster was doing a regular old thing and she's always done she just like goes back there and barks at the birds and does the monster thing you know we got to where we're going to load the net up on the back of the boat to come home and uh she always goes back there and grabs the net and uh starts pulling on it you know and when she wasn't there with a the normal procedure and i said where's she at it was in the middle of a bay pretty much you know i mean open water i mean four or five miles from any type of land. This, my heart was fell. I mean, I just couldn't even speak. But I, I, I turned around and I, I got my GPS coordinates and stuff and, and I said, we're going, we're going to find her. I looked up and down the coast and all the way to Kima and uh, Bridget started uh, posting stuff. And when I uh, posted the story on Facebook, it was just like, it blew up so many people in there. You know, they knew that I'd never been away from Monster. Monster's never been away from me. Hell, she's scared of the dark. Five days went by, you know, us so started posting more and more and more and more. And a uh, lady said, hey, I've we seen a dog like that uh, uh, at the park. I said, man, she couldn't make that swim. There's no way that dog could swim that far. I said, I'm gonna go look anyway. So I started going house to house and there was a lady in the house. She said, you know, she said, I seen that dog swimming across the bay. <laughs> and I just started, crying. I said, man, at least I know she's alive. I just kept looking and looking and I went to an old trailer park across the street and uh, uh, I, I, people had seen her there and I, I said, hey, I got a, a cash reward. I got money right here in my hand. hundred dollar bill. Somebody bring me this dog. And I got ready to leave. A uh, guy. And then uh, he, he hauled around a bit and he said, you know, I said, I got your dog. Uh, he had her tied to his trailer with his dog beside him. And, 
I, I was crying so hard I couldn't even I couldn't even talk. I was, and she was giving me so many kisses. I, I think her swimming every day saved her life. Just her being on a boat, her being used to the water. Miles, bro. But how? What I want to know is why was she tied up at the trailer park? And because, why didn't? Because they found maybe she was her, stolen. They found her and they um, had her tied up and he was out on the search for all the Facebook messages, all that. And then he heard that she was at a trailer park and they went to the trailer park founder and he was offering cash money too, but he got her, he got, he got her back and she was alive. And she, and he said, because the fact that she's been around the boat the whole time, um, that that's probably why she survived is because she knew how to swim. And it's a, this is like a pit bull. Monster. Well, dogs just instinct instinctively naturally know how to swim. Yeah, I've never had a dog before. This is my first dog experience, Remy, mm -hmm. and yeah. he's a badass. I love him. He's so cool. Yeah, well, that's a cool story, bro. Cool story, man. Dogs are cool. Animals are awesome. Humans suck. All right, so curious squirrel, lost robot, robot, or. Yeah. Cake and the Mona Lisa. I'm gonna go with Cake and the Mona Lisa because I've seen this story and I think it's it's kind of funny. Man in wig was detained after throwing a piece of cake at the Mona Lisa. A man who seems to have been disguised as an old woman in a wheelchair mm -hmm. threw a piece of cake at the Mona Lisa in Paris. Video posted on social media shows security guards at the Louvre Museum the Louvre. escorting the Louvre, whatever. Yeah, it, it's fine. I like the I like to say Louvre. Yeah, Louvre. That makes sense. It's spelled that way. Yeah, I get it. That's why that's why I knew what you were talking about. The man uh escorting the man away Sunday as he spoke in French about the planet. Think of the earth. There are people who are destroying the earth. Think about it. Artists tell you, think about the earth. That's why I did this, he says, according to the Associated Press. <laughs> Another video showed someone clearing the cake off the glass, protecting the Mona Lisa. Oh, it was glass? It. Yeah. Eating it? Okay, but it looked so gross because it was like all smeared. And so it looked like he was like literally wiping and smearing it cake all over the Mona Lisa, but there's glass protecting it. That makes me feel yeah, better about it. They lick the glass clean. Mm. Yeah. Do you ever think there will be a time when they take the glass off? No, no, no. I don't think so. Johnny, Not if you, had, you, you have some pull, have you ever touched like a Van Gogh or a Mona Lisa? No, heck no, dude. I would never do that. No, I, I want to touch it. a Van Gogh because of all the texture. Yeah, yeah. They have. Uh, Why would you never touch it, Johnny? Oils, man. You, your uh, oils are your because hand. I don't want to wipe my hands with it on my body. Because I express myself in other manners. Yeah, like, I thought that was pretty punk rock. Masturbation. <laughs> My masturbatorium. I want you to do me a favor and look into my eyes. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, Johnny. Oh, wow. We went all in, Johnny. My, my panties just came off. Whoa. Mr. Dior himself. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. All right, boys. All right. We are well into the show. That was a cool story, bro. We've already done quote of the day. We talked Top Gun been trying to stall as much as possible trying not to get to the, the juiciest stuff all the all the tv shows are out though we talked about that a lot too um and have stranger you things, watched stranger things oh my god yes i saw the whole yeah. thing Thought. yeah i haven't seen the whole thing yet i'm still um a lot of, i was gonna watch a lot of shit today but a lot of shit happened in my car just a lot of crap but Mm -hmm. uh, don't ruin it for me. I'm really excited to watch Stranger Things. Fuck you, man. I guess we're not going to talk Stranger Things, dude. Just you know, give me one week. God damn. That's why we took a week off to, to get all that well, shit I in. I tried dude. to get it done. 
motherfucker. I've got four kids. I can't just watch something like that. Like you had a week out in the open. Week, dude. What do you mean? You're saying your kids don't watch Stranger Things? What the hell are you talking about? I'm it's literally not four children. children. It's literally yeah. four kids. You've seen this uh, uh, this season. See this what are you coming talking from, about? and I was talking about this the other day. This coming from a man that has no children, like that would terrify my children, bro. And then That's, I'd be up. Like and they'd... children, are you talking about your high school kids? No, Emma can watch it, but okay, your middle kids... school kids, dude, you can't let yeah, them watch. Grace, Grace, in in Georgia and Ireland can't watch that stuff. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. And right. I guarantee you. If you fight me on this, parents will backlash because I don't give a shit, dude. I don't. This episode uh, is the season. What's up with the season? What what is it? I mean, everybody's it's in pain more dark. Can't talk about you can't talk about periods, right? That's why everybody was boycotting paint like red, seeing red. Can't watch that. Talk about what? Periods, what are you talking man. about? What, what were they Period? doing with red? What? Yes, seeing red. It's this uh, animated film oh. that came out on Disney Plus. And it's huh? about uh, a teen, uh, like a tween, and she gets her period, and that's what the whole thing is. It's a period monster. Whoa! Yeah, and and what? people were up in arms about it. Well, it, well, it I mean, that's just period? like, and that's just well, part of the story. That's just like Big Mouth on Netflix and the horny monster. It's just exactly. a female version. Yeah, exactly. I know. Uh, well, I mean, I guess I would want my kids to watch it, but I'm you no. Know, but it's, it's not. It's not. It, it is acceptable because, like, it is for it's. It's a rated. It's not even rated anything wild, dude. That's just part of life, though. That's the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Is that's the weird? Like everybody's so freaked out about uh, female reproductive uh, systems, man. Like, what the fuck? It's just like natural. That shit happens. Like to, to act like it doesn't happen or to like not talk about it is weird to me. Yeah. Happy Pride Month. Exactly. Like the to to you know what I mean? Like that's the whole thing is like you it, I don't know. It's just weird. But I get it. I mean, you have to you you know, you have to make choices as a parent. You got to do stuff in what you choose to let your children watch or not watch, you know. It's it's definitely all, all obviously up to you. Hey, have you ever babysat kids like now? Like no, I would uh. be I am terrified to babysit kids. Like if if my brother had to leave like my niece and nephew with yeah. me, I think I would probably freak. It, I freak think out. it would be like, um, if like we would have to find another one because Troy has all those children, so he's he's used to it. But I mean, like three men and a little baby, like me and you and somebody else around a kid, it'd be <laughs> like that. You know what I mean? Like we'd have an idea, but we wouldn't really know what to do. But we'd have kind of an idea. But I feel like you can talk to kids um, pretty much normally. You don't have to like <laughs> baby talk them or anything like that. Bro, know? I'm gonna tell you right now. Whatever you, idea you have, mm-hmm. throw that out the fucking window because you have no idea when it comes to kids. Mm-hmm. I had no idea. Yeah. You know yeah, totally. when. Uh, when the second one came, I thought I knew. Hell no, it wasn't until the fourth one. Hell, and even the fourth one is new shit. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, dude, you're dealing with new things. Like, I mean, your fourth one is how old? Uh, six. Yeah, bro, that's in- wow, dude, that's insane, yeah. man. Would you I think do- about you would you would do, do it. I mean, dude, at this point, man, like, I would still do it. I mean, you know, yeah, I, that- I, I do want to do. I do want to have a, a kid. I really do. Yeah. I, I really do. I want to have two kids, you know? I mean, yeah. it's just, man, the situation now these days is just so, so crazy. And, you know, I, I know scary. that there's parents doing the best scary. they can. Yeah. It, it's, it's, that's yeah. what, uh, well, we talked a little bit about Stranger Things. Um, and then he got shit on and ruined. But, uh, that's a lot about what uh, Stranger Things is about this season is, uh, you know, in the 80s, there was, um, like fear about, um D and calling it sat- sat- a satanic fear you know there's that's the thing no matter like you said uh generationally there's always going to be something around the corner some boogeyman some scary thing mm-hmm. um last last couple of years it's been um and it still is you know and i'm not saying it shouldn't be but uh there's just new fears every year you know, mm-hmm. you know yeah yeah obviously yeah there's fears about sending your kids to school now there's fears about right human trafficking there's fears about um you know 
all kinds of stuff. I know. I know. It just seems like it's uh, just a lot to bring a kid into this world, you know? I mean, then, you that's know, the, the thing. thing. Yeah. Is Sorry. it worth it? Like, that's the thing. Like, that's I think people have been asking that question for a long time. Mm-hmm. You know, the environment, everything like. Is it yeah. worth it? Should you have a kid, you know, these days? But yeah, I think, I think it's, yeah, no, it just depends right. on, on, you know, your situation. Yeah. It's, you know, I think everybody that we know is so is very loving and I think that mm-hmm. that's a good thing. And so, yeah, why not have um, something grow out of that love? You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, no, I know, man. Got to find the right one. Yeah. Absolutely. And that's the thing. Like we're all, we're all like living longer. And so, Mm -hmm. you know, I feel like there's plenty of time, you know, for stuff like that. I feel like we're just getting into the good parts, you know, this is, I think this is that, like, I think when you're a kid and you're thinking about when I'm older, when I'm an adult, like, you know, I think like this is that time we were thinking about, I think in our mind's eye, we thought that that was a lot sooner than it is. Mm -hmm. This like, it's like you know place where you're at where you do you, you're a little bit further down the road on your journey so you, you have a little bit more knowledge a little bit more everything you know and so you feel a bit more comfortable in your shoes and, and where your path yeah. is where your life a little is, more money and a little bit more money all that that kind of stuff yeah right. all, all that go like to say that this is what like that 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 thing that you wanted to get to as a kid, mm-hmm. you know, we're there. And so I think it's, it's, it's hard sometimes to mm-hmm. enjoy the moment when it's happening because you're always striving to get to somewhere mm-hmm. or trying to achieve something or trying to do, you know what I mean? I think it's hard sometimes to be in the moment and be like, okay, yeah, this is what I've been waiting to get to. Mm-hmm. And now I'm here. Now I need to enjoy it. You know, I think sometimes yeah, it's you're, hard. You're absolutely right, man. Do you hate it on the money? Shout. Yeah, Glory too. days. This is what Bruce Springsteen was talking about. Glory days. Yeah. Yeah. Life is life is crazy, man. But yeah, you're right. There's still a lot to uh, be happy about. Lot I'm happy to, about uh, that reduce. fucking earring you have on right there. No. Oh. Yeah. The other side. Yeah, dog. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. also wear this for Halloween, by the way. Oh yeah, you got. Well, you got to do. If, uh, well, you should do it. You should also wear a version of Johnny for the '80s party that we have coming up at the end of the month. Oh, why? Well, I already got something planned out for that. Oh, okay. I love it. I love yeah. it. Dean's already got his planned out. All right. Are we doing? Are you doing characters? I wonder. Or are you just doing like? Uh, it's a surprise. <laughs> yeah. Love it. I love it. Troy, what about you? 80s, 80s. What is your 80s inspiration? I'll probably come as Doc Brown. There we go. There we go. Doc Brown. Or Marty, if I can fly, if I can Dude, find the proper. Uh, I, ha- I don't know if I still have it, but I did Marty McFly. I might have the jacket. I'll let you know. Yeah, that's it. what I need. Yeah. I had it. It was like orange. I got, I found it at a thrift store. I got lucky. The, usually when it comes to like parties like that, I just run to the thrift thrift store. Do you remember do that pass. shirt I used to have that was the Marty McFly shirt? No. Uh-uh. The t-shirt? Nope. I want to go to thrift store shopping. I haven't been in a long, long time. But I don't remember your Marty McFly shirt. I had a really cool, my favorite one ever was this um, Campbell's figure skating shirt. And it was amazing. It was amazing. Did you ever do that? Did you ever go thrift store shopping, Jorge? That was never your scene, right? Yeah. No, dude. My mother used to shop for me in thrift stores all the time. Oh, yeah. That's the Mexican way, dude. Okay. But you uh, like rocked your thrift store shirts. Like, remember when it was popular? Like, when we were like, in, I guess in the 2000s or something like that? Well, uh, I guess it still is. I mean, it's never gone away. Vintage yeah, shirts. Of- I saw this video about uh, Post Malone getting. Shirts, they call it being sourced, and that's just like finding it, people finding it at thrift stores and then selling it to like celebrities. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I have a, uh, I've got this starter jacket, this Notre Dame oh, starter. Oh, do you really? That's, yeah. It's still, oh, it's, 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 Chris it's, got a boner for that. What the fuck, dude. Yeah. I got oh, a Notre Dame. Is it like jacket. authentic? It's yours? It's like yeah. from back yeah. in the day. 
starter jacket yeah definitely dude, would not fit me dude that, that, that would fit my arm are you kidding me dude it's a it's a size large it's so. a size large yeah no 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 but uh how does it, it's a size large how does that fit you or hey it fits me fine it's it's like a men's large i wear a medium dude a medium or smaller yeah that's right medium or smaller that's right that's what i'm saying like how does a large, large fit you Oh yeah, I mean it just fits like me like a dress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, like starter jackets are supposed to be big, right? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. I thought that's it. It was. I thought you meant it was gonna be like tight on me. I was like, man, shoot. No, it's a. It's my a first part. starter jacket was the Chicago Bears, and then I had a, a that's random New Orleans Saints. Yeah, that's that's so random. I got them. I got them at Ross. Oh, okay. That's back in the day. That's back in the day when it didn't matter what team you were repping as long as it was the starter fucking jacket. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Dude, uh, you know what was in high demand? Was that, did you say the Hornets? Yeah, the Hornets one. That was tight. Dude. Yeah. Uh, they did that shit on Always Sunny. It was so funny. He was wearing it. He had, he had a beeper. He was taking it old school. Oh, man. Dude. I had so- a beeper. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. The uh the clear one, one of the clear ones. No, I had the I had a black one, and uh one three seven was my code for I love you. One three seven. Yeah, I don't know where I, it was just my secret code. If a girl texted me one three seven, yeah, that's that's like uh I heart basically. Yeah, yeah. It's like emoji talk. That's the original emojis. I remember boobies. On a calculator, did you ever page a page with a? Uh, did you ever page a pager with another pager number to like see where somebody was at? No, uh-uh, uh-uh. is that a thing? What did uh-huh. you mean page page a pager? Page a... Yeah, I don't know. Page a pager with a pager's number. Yeah, being like, hey, you you let me know where you're at because I have to use a uh, a uh, uh, dude. Like back in the day, you had to use a payphone. Phones are so like, weird. I'm about to get a new phone and. Like they update so fast. Like I was just watching um, 21 Jump Street, not your version, Johnny, but the new version, the newest version on your phone. No, I was watching it um, just on TV, but the phones that they were using in that movie were fucking ancient because they were slot. He slid and he was like typing shit on like yeah. a slider phone. And it's like, that yeah, I remember doesn't those. feel like that long ago, like 2010. Damn, that's crazy, man. Remember whenever they had those flip? Uh, that's what I was. Yeah, uh, that's what he was doing, and he was typing uh, shit on it. And I'm like, that uh, movie was. I like had one of those slide up ones. I had a slider one. too. I had the Kyocera slider. Yeah, mine was Nokia. Nice. Never got that fancy. I had the flip up one, the Sprint. Yeah, one. flip phones, and then those yeah. are trying to come back too. I'm just getting another. I'm getting the Galaxy Twenty Three. Let's get that. Uh-huh. Nice. Yeah, yeah. What do you think about the ones that fold out like that? I mean, those are cool. I don't know. I just, that's the thing. Like, I just want to, the reason I like the Galaxy phone is it does nice things, but it's, it's not too, I don't like over the, the top the or fan, fancy. It's not too fancy. Uh, I don't like the cut in the screen. On which one? The, the ones that flip out now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That little crevice in the screen. Yeah, I don't like that. No, he's not. He's not feeling the 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 creasing. But like, just, like the huge phones, though. Like I I can't carry that around. I drop my phone enough. Like, yeah, I, I agree. I have the uh, the twelve have, Pro Ski. Oh, okay, it's huge. Oh yeah, that's a uh, that's an iPhone. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to twenty three plus. It's a bigger phone, but it's not as it's like these are not huge. You know what I mean? Yeah. And your your phone has double sided the screen? No, 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 no. Oh. No, it's like it's a Galaxy. It's just a regular phone. It's like the iPhone of uh Androids, I guess. Mm-hmm. It's got a built-in vibrator. Yeah, you put it right in your butthole. <laughs> it's like a colonic, really. Just loosens you up, you know. It's important for circulation. It lets you know whether or not you've been eating enough fiber. That's right. What are some things you stay away from? What are some good things? Good things for good gut health. Do you do good gut health? Is that a thing for you? 
Yeah. What's so? Uh, what are your some of your trip tips, tricks? Go to uh, salad products. and chicken. Salad and Sa- chicken. Just yeah. salad is actually the worst thing. Just eating clean because lettuce like does not process and it rots in your stomach. That's not true. It yeah. is true. Look it up. No, well, I, I eat leafy greens. Green. Oh, well, I don't do lettuce. I do leafy greens. Yeah, like, leafy uh, greens. Leafy greens. We're talking about spinach. We're talking about yeah. kale. Yeah. yeah. But I've never heard that about salad. I mean, about lettuce. No, yeah, it's supposed to be good for you. It's supposed to push things through. That's the whole thing. Yeah, go look it up, bro. The iceberg lettuce is one of the worst. No, not things iceberg. You can eat. Nobody, nobody eats iceberg anymore. Some people, um, nobody eats iceberg eats anymore. Iceberg. No, nobody eats iceberg. You You're like, full of shit. You I eat fucking eat bib prep. lettuce, or you eat, um, bro, spinach. I'm talking common. about salads, not talking about sandwich. Like that's just filler, right? For sandwiches. But salads, I mean, though, really filler. But what is the, what is the filler on a sandwich? It's salad. When I make a salad bowl for somebody, I make salad. I use uh, I use a bowl. And I put the same shit I would put on the sandwich, but I just put it in the bowl and then I yeah. put the meat on top. Yeah, it's a yeah. salad. It's the same shit. The a sandwich and the salad is the same. You don't shit. have romaine. Y'all don't have anything like that. Y'all just have iceberg. Iceberg lettuce. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I uh, you know I like I prefer romaine. I prefer bib lettuce. Stuff like that. Spinach. I love spinach salads. I like baby spinach. Yeah, it's good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, and then like green veggies, like, a, you know, um, asparagus is good for you, all that stuff. Do you do like, do you do supplements and stuff like that? Or like, um, do you take fiber tablets or anything like that? No, I don't do any of that right now. How about kombucha? I... Do you fuck with kombucha? No, not at all. It's so disgusting. I can't do it. Yeah. Kombucha is not not very tasty. It's got this vinegar quality to it. Eating ginger is good for uh, stomach health. Yeah, it's very soothing to the stomach. Very soothing. Teas? Do you fuck with teas? Do you drink any teas? Anybody? No, I, I drink a coffee. lot of tea. What kind of tea do you drink? Oh, you drink sweet tea by the gallon. Southern sweet tea by the gallon. Southern sweet tea. <laughs> I love it. I never got into tea, man. I don't understand it. Yeah, I just it's like it's a good I don't know. It's like it's it's delicious, bro. Like and I hate man. when people flick the 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 sugar thingies the What's that? Oh, you know the when they packets, put their sweet the packets. Low, yeah. That's a that's yeah. a thing for you. Yeah. Uh, have you never been to H2O? HTO, I mean. HTO is delicious, bro. That place is fire. Is that the boba tea? No, you can get uh, teas by the gallon there too, and they have just like the best flavors. Um, you can get big, you know, they have different sizes of cups you can get too, but they have like it's it's delicious, man. It's so good. But uh, <coughs> I keep on going back to I just I know that we have we're not going to talk about it delay uh next week because I want Dean to be here too, but yeah, I keep going back to that. That fucking song from Stranger Things is as as I can't escape it, right? It's everywhere. It's on social media. I hear it everywhere. The um it's the hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go before it because I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's you've been watching it, haven't you? It's the Kate Bush song, dude. What are you talking about? It's running up that hill. Keep running up that hill. Keep running on that road. You know, it's the it's like in the whole fucking season. I'm talking about. Okay. So good. Running up that. Oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Yeah, man. Did you? I thought you said you watched it, Jorge. I did watch it. I it's just, the song I she listens to in her I, headphones I, the whole time. I know, and I'm trying to remember what that is. Oh, uh, man. But, That's such a good ass song. Because, you know, they, they do their own thing on the. the so let me just make sure. What do you so so basically the concept is like it's your favorite song will snap you out of it. What is what would your song to? What would your go to song if you had to be your safe song? This is a song that's gonna save save you, protect you, bring you back tonight to to reality. Okay. Uh, my go to song, golly, that's a great that is a great question. If I had to listen to one song that's gonna put me in a happy place, mm-hmm. yeah. 
Oh, yeah, uh, I know what mine is. I know what mine is. Uh, okay, you go first. Okay, okay. Mine's an obscure, obviously, it's going to be. Um, but it's called This Is The Day. Um, and it's by The, the, the band The, The. Or The, The. But it's a happy little song. Definitely gets me in my happy little little place. I love it. Mm-hmm. It's a good song. Uh, Uptown Funk by Bruno Mars. Oh, Morris. yeah. Uptown Funk. It's a good song. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I'd have to say that would be it. It always puts me in a good mood. Or Hey Ya. Yeah. What about you, Troy? What is your song? Or he left, right? He's like, yeah. What song? What's your, what's your what's a song that if this is a song that's supposed to keep you safe, this is your safe place. This is going to keep you anchored. This is what we're going to play for you, so you don't be taken away. What do you mean, be taken away? Well, without spoil, I'm trying not to spoil shit for you because you said you hadn't watched stuff, um, but it's part of oh, the yeah. thing. Listen to a song that's supposed to keep you safe. So what would your go to? It's supposed to be your favorite song. What's your favorite song? Like the song that makes me feel safe. Yeah. Or happy. Or what is your favorite Um, song? Your go to. uh, Because there's a song now, but it's not necessarily a feel feel good song. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like now it would be uh, Popular Monster by Falling in Reverse. Popular but, Monster by Falling in Reverse. I didn't even... Yeah. Um, if you heard it, you would be like, yeah, that's totally a Troy's Alley. Uh, I mean, I have one. I'm just I'm drawing a blank because you're like uh, kind of putting me on the spot. You staring have a, through my rear view by Tupac. Staring through my rear view by Tupac. Okay. Staring through my rear view. That's not at all how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> staring at my rear view. I'm Tupac. That's how it goes. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. That's good shit. Good shit. Good shit. What else? Something else came out. I just can't think of what it is, but it's huge. What was it? The Boys. But the I, haven't boys. I've, I haven't even started The Boys yet. That's something yeah. I definitely want to get into for sure. Uh, let's see. Yeah, strange. Did you guys even do you guys watch um, the movie of the week? Yep. 13th Warrior. 13th Warrior. Boy, that was a tough flick to watch. Really? Yeah, it's so bad. Wow. Okay, let's get started then. Started then real quick. Um, This is movie of the week. We watch the 13th Warrior. Get wah, that on wah, Tubi wah. for free. Yeah. Uh, so you're not a fan of Beowulf or what? Like what? 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 It was just. It was. T- I don't know. What do you, mean? I just did. you did not watch it. Did not. I did watch it. Uh, yeah. I mean, I did Troy uh, didn't watch it. Troy did not watch it. Yeah. The fuck. I, I can tell you watched you it. You definitely Tubi. didn't watch it. Bro, go look at my Tubi account and tell me. <laughs> I didn't okay. Okay. Here we go. So. He's a Muslim I have an guy. account. Do you yeah. have a Tubi account? Yes, or are you just account. watching it yes, for free? Well, well set it up. Set it up. Set, set, set it up. So, uh, yes. Yeah, so, okay. I love, I love, so the, the story. Well, you got to tell the audience about. We talked about it a little bit last week. I, it is a retelling of the story of Beowulf. It's a different take on it. And this take I love a lot because I love stories where it's like fish out of water situation. And this, this is definitely that. This is a guy who is. Uh, he was a poet. He's a poet, uh, but he, he is, uh, these are all Norsemen, and he yep. is from the Middle East. Mm-hmm. And he, um, but. Yeah, his name is cool. fucking long as shit. Yes, but it's cool, though, because he, a soothsayer. Uh, so this kid comes, and he's, he, there's a new king, and they're celebrating the new king. This kid comes and asks for help says that there's this monster that's preying upon his his village and killing everybody and 
they need help. So they they bring in their soothsayer or witch, whatever you want to call her. She comes in and explains how 13 men have to go and kill this thing. And then she says, uh, as, as they're all kind of like pledging uh, to be one of the 13th, they get to the end. And she says that the 13th actually can't be a Norseman. And so he's like taking all of this in and then he's kind of put in the middle and they're like, it's got to be this guy. And so he gets paired with with all of these Vikings or these these Northmen and they go on the journey to 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 kill Grendel, kill the the monster that is terrorizing this this these people. And to me, like this setup of everything is so cool and how he the coolest part in the whole movie to me is when Antonio Banderas is learning their language. Yeah. That, that, that part was cool. I love that so much. I love that the way they did it in this movie, they, I, I don't think they've ever really done that in a movie in this manner where it's like, they're speaking a, a language that they is either authentic or they made up. I'm not really sure. And then it gradually starts sounding more and more like English. Mm-hmm. And then, and then it's just English. And then like, that's him kind of listening and understanding. And then finally like getting a grasp of their language. And then he speaks to them and they're like, Holy shit. How do you know our language? He's like, I've been listening dogs. Uh, but yeah. I loved all that. I loved all the little nuances with the differences between like their horses versus his horse versus their swords versus his swords, that, that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And I think it's a really cool way to tell the story through an outsider's perspective. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, battle scenes were pretty good. Yeah. You know, I, I like that. Uh, Scary. I like that bit. one fight scene where that dude, uh, I guess, tricked that giant, you know? Yeah. Uh, that giant fighter, you know, he started picking on him with the mud. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Cool and like, yeah. And then, like, having to creep in, like, while they're sleeping, that kind of stuff is always scary. Um, mm-hmm. I thought that the whatever the the there's so there's a you know you talked a little bit about wrestling troy uh, one of our favorites in the past is finn balor and he does this thing where he like wears like this like paint and it reminds me of, of the demon the demon and it reminds me of the bad the bad guy in this movie because he does that same kind of like thing he wrestled last night yeah and so yeah i love that i love this flick i thought it was really cool it's very it, to me it, it's 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 uh it's up there with like in my, and this is my book but it's up there with the willows of the world in my opinion. Wow, terrible. Whoa. No. Whoa. I think it's just as good as Willow. Whoa, not at all. Why? Yeah. Because of the magic? You guys are nerdy, you need magic in it? No, 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 no. It just the 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 story. What line, did you hate about it? It was it's just, not original. No, 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 no. It's no, not no, original. No. It's the Beowulf. Willow is original. Well, we're not comparing the two. I mean, I just compared the two. I'm saying before that, you were saying that you didn't like it, and I want to know why you didn't like it without Willow being involved. You know what I mean? Because it's not an original film. I mean, fight scenes were okay. The storyline was kind of meh. Antonio Banderas is kind of boring. He's always been kind of boring to me. Uh, I'm not a big Antonio Banderas fan. What are you talking about? How am I a racist when one of my favorites is John Leguizamo? And he has to <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, I, I will say that uh, he Antonio Banderas was caked in makeup. Like, oh yeah, for sure. He was like he had so much makeup on, trying to be uh, darker, you know. Yeah, it was caked on there. And then he had the um the he had the stuff going on like you do right now. Can you show the audience your eyes again? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I hope yeah. this crap comes off, man. Nope, it's on there for life, bro. <laughs> on there for no, life. No, don't, Johnny. What are you doing? Don't take off it. Did you don't just take it off? Ruin no, your eyebrows? No, no, no. It's all good. It's still, it's still dark. Did you go over there and do that? Is this, this you did this yourself? Yeah. This is a good job, man. It's very cool, very authentic, very authentic. I love it. We have uh, our own special guest coming on to the show now. Do uh, you want to remove yourself real quick and come back? Yeah. Oh, is he coming? Yeah. Go away, Jorge. Okay. Go away, Jorge. All right. Woo. What do we got left, man? We're at the end. Shit. We'll see yeah, what he wants to talk about. We'll like, see what he wants to talk about. No, we still have to pick. Um, 
you know, the next kind. movie of the week, which would be cool. Oh, yeah, we got to do three of a kind. Uh, we got to do three of a kind. We got to do the, the next movie of the week. So we got to add one. So I'm going to look at that because my movie got picked. So I'm going to pick. Yeah. So you look add at to the that. Wheel. So I'm going to wait till. OK, Dean's on screen. How you hey, doing, buddy? Hey. Missed you. Um, so uh, got a little surprise for you today. Uh, it's part of a uh, cool story, bro. Got a guest. Um Go ahead and uh, introduce him. Uh, go ahead and come on screen, guest. Come on screen, guest. We have Johnny Depp here today. He's our special guest host. Jorge gave mm-hmm. up his spot. And uh, Johnny Depp, we already did a, a, a good interview. And uh, mm-hmm. yeah, he's, he's been working hard for us today. Absolutely. Decided to stay with a cool story. Yes, what yes. Tally ho. Said I bet he actually has some cool stories. Hey, I had some cool stories today too, as well. I'm just saying Johnny Depp is an interesting character. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Right now, uh, we just went over um, we're in the middle of movie of the week, and I'm trying to find a movie to replace the one we That's just talked about 13 Warrior. We did. Yeah. Uh, we could like to hear your thoughts though, real quick before uh, while I love I'm looking. The movie. Yeah, um, yeah. I think it's great. It's maybe actually one of my favorite Antonio Banderas movies. Ooh. Even I know he's got some classics out there, but yeah. this is a really good one for for me for Antonio. Uh, my favorite thing though is probably in the beginning, just how he learns the language and how they show him learning the language on the boat. Yeah, the way they do that, where you know they're all talking in different languages, and he doesn't understand and then slowly word one word at a time slips in and all of a sudden then finally at the end of the journey he's able to hear understand everything they're saying that was really cool yeah very very cool um lots of blood and guts good stuff like that yes it's way better than the beowulf movie with uh angelina jolie yes the animated one i agree yeah this is probably the best adaptation of beowulf from an interesting perspective. Uh, I liked it a lot. All right, that's it. That's my thoughts on 13. Perfect. Years. Perfect. So I What's am going to replace. Um, oh, got to get the wheel up. Yeah, we get the wheel up. I will give yeah. you sharing um, abilities. I'm going to repl- uh, to add over the top to the viewing list. If you would. That's a hey, great movie. Baby. Yeah, you, baby. I don't even have to watch it, but I guess I'll watch it for the billionth time. You got to, bro. You got to, got to. Have you ever seen it, Jorge? Over the top? Okay. Well, I can. Who hasn't seen Over the Top, bro? Uh, uh, Well, our our viewing audience. I'll tell you this: I've only seen it once, and I'm not sure I've seen the whole thing. Yeah, Uh, not sure I've seen the whole thing. It is a movie about arm wrestling. That's Uh, right, truckers. Yeah, I can replace it with Mac and Me, but I think we've all seen Mac. No, and no, Mac and Me is terrible. On the wheel. Yeah, fuck the wheel. that. All Rock-a- right, here we Rock-a- go. Rockadoodle, Rockadoodle. That's a good one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's so much. I've been enjoying the shit out of Tubi. I know I said it. I keep on yeah, saying. Yeah, Tubi is good. There's a bunch awesome, of man. You know, there's a lot of free uh, movies on YouTube as well. Really? Hey, right. Can you guys see the wheel? Yeah, so we got what Take Shit. Take- we'll just. Oh. just just real quick, what is take shelter. Take shelter. Well, um, it's a who put uh, that on there. I did, I did. It's a movie about a guy who builds a bunker. Um, oh, okay. you got inner space, we have the pest over the top, how high, 13 assassins, dirty work, and lover boy all on the wheel. Good, Heck yeah, good selection of, of random all sorts of stuff. You got quite yeah. a few things in there. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah! You spoke it into existence, Jorge. Yes, yes, and Troy. yes. I I even said John Leguizamo earlier. You yes, did, it's one did. of my favorite movies. It's most underrated. I can't believe it. it yes, I'm excited for it. Oh yeah. Get stupid. Get retarded. Piss about to make the party R-word. started. Get our word. Oh well. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> I hope you don't sing all the words in every song you listen to. <laughs> oh, he definitely does and has. 
<laughs> All right. That is fun. Um, okay, the pest. Yeah. Nice. Yes, sir. We talked to, uh, just to kind of ca- catch you back up. We talked a little bit about Top Gun. Uh, we were all excited about that. I don't know if you had a chance to view that yet, but we got that in. And then we talked, we uh, haven't had, we're not going to talk Stranger Things quite yet, even though it's so good and it's controlling every thought in my brain, but we'll wait till next week. So try to catch up and then we'll talk a little bit of Stranger Things. Did okay. anybody watch the Obi-Wan? I definitely yeah. fucking watched Obi Wan. I watched all of it. I so watched far. it all except the third episode. I think I I was gonna watch it today, but um, shit happened with my wife's car, and it was just been a long day. Yeah, yeah. That's the only thing I watched all week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so I w- I am caught up on Obi Wan. I watched that and the finals. <laughs> That's it, man. I got yeah. one TV hooked up in my in the new place right now, and. Uh, it's a process, man. Getting back, getting moved back in, you know, getting out of boxes, doing all that, yeah. and everything set up. Hell yeah! yeah. But so, what's so, three of a kind this week, Johnny? It's going to be the biggest, uh, the best one hit wonders. Oh, oh, I love. That. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. The own eaters. We talked about that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, do you, let's, we can see it in a little Obi Wan before we get to Three of a Kind. Um, I definitely think, uh, not to spoil it for Troy, but the third episode is by far the best. Yeah, I said that as well. I think I agree with that 100. So yeah, um, up to the second episode, it's pretty good. The first episode was kind of slow for me, but the second episode was great. And when she fucking killed the dude uh, right in front of Obi Wan, yeah, and then she was like. She was like, "We we've been searching for you. Oh, you didn't know, Anakin is alive." Yeah, you know, like, holy crap! Yeah, she's she's. I love her. She is ruthless. Um, and that Braff is in the third episode. He is ooh. the voice of the alien truck driver. Oh, nice! I didn't notice that. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh-huh. Um, I liked the um, the clone. The, the old stormtrooper veteran begging for money. Yes. Uh, that was good stuff with the uh, actor that also plays uh, Boba Fett. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, That was good. Good little tease there. Flea yeah. as a bad guy. Yes. Yeah, Flea good. is a bad Flea. guy. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. He dies, um, but oh, he doesn't yeah. die. No. Yeah, he does. The Inquisitor kills him. Oh, does he? Yeah, that's something that I know they were really high on the drugs. Well, that's one thing that I was really, really looking forward to. And something that I wanted them to kind of dive into is the hunt for the remaining Jedis. And they're doing that. Um, Order Mm -hmm. was it Order 66? Is that what it is? Order 66 was the clone, all the clones from the Clone War. I thought we were going to see some younglings die at the beginning. That gave me some, I was a little nervous about that. Like all the younglings running around. Order six, Order sixty six was like a pre-programmed thing. So whenever the emperor, emperor said Order sixty six, all the clone and around just turned to the closest Jedi and killed them. Yeah, that's how that happened. Uh, if you watch the Clone Wars, you know the Jedi and the clones were tight, absolutely buddies. So, yeah, allies. Super, uh, super wild time. Yeah, and you get to see glimpses of that and. I think that's freaking awesome. I love that. And I love how Obi-Wan kind of plays the reluctant. You know, that's the whole thing about this is Star Wars or origins are space Western, right? And this this kind of feels like it's going back to its roots a little bit in that it's like a space Western. This is a I will tell you what it is. Reluctant badass who doesn't want to get involved. And he's like drifter guy. It's it's the uh, Clint Eastwood yeah. Uh, movie. Yeah. Um, Josie Wales. Um, Is it Josie Wales? No, not Josie Wales. The one he did as the old man. Um, oh. With uh, Morgan Freeman. Tombstone. Tombstone. No. Oh, my gosh. It's, no. Um, no. Oh, what's it Unforgiven. called? Unforgiven. 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 Yeah. yeah. It's Unforgiven. You know, he, like, he was a master killer. Yeah. You know, he was a badass, but he, he went off into the woods and try to try to do live a normal life. And with the force, if you don't use it, you lose it. That's right. That's um, right. Yeah. I like 
I like all of the guest casting for this show. Mm-hmm. Is uh, it's great. I love all of it. Yeah. Um, what's his name has like four, uh, three, three more episodes according to IMDb. Oh, okay. Okay. the con man Jedi. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. He was oh, great. Yeah. Very cool. Um, yeah, man. So yeah, he was. And I love the pacing of it all. Like, as, as for all the stuff that's come out, all the content that's coming out, and you can call it Marvel or Disney or whatever, uh, they, I feel the pacing is something that they can do better at. They just don't want to reveal too much too soon. But I feel like this pacing of this show has actually been really fucking good. Boy, Han is in it. Did you talk about that? Mm-mm. That's one of the Inquisitors, dude, is Han. Oh, really? Yeah, that's brother number five. Oh, you're right. Brother yeah. number two. Two. Yeah. That is Han. Cool. That's Han. Yeah. Hell yeah. He's about oh, to that's recognize Han? him. Yeah, I do. I do now. Yeah. Uh, f- you talking about the one that has the problem with the the yeah. second sister, third sister, whatever sister. Fifth she sister. Is? Yeah, she's a great underboss bad guy for this too. So I mean, you obviously know that Darth Vader's coming. Yeah, but she is a great underboss for that. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, she's she's great. I love her in that. Me too. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Hope he wants good. Fuck yeah, this is everything so far I was so good. Be. And then uh, um, the next thing that is gonna pop off is um, what's his name from the uh, Re- the um, Rogue One stories, uh, Caspian, yes. Andor, As- Andor. That shit's gonna be fucking fire. That's twelve. That episodes. looks so good. Twelve episodes, and they've already yeah. started on the second season, which is gonna be another twelve episodes. That when trailer does that come for out? Andor. That's next. That's coming out amazing. soon. Amazing. Looks amazing. Yeah, I can't wait. I don't um, know what they're doing. Did uh, the boys season three also start? Yeah, season? we haven't gotten I into have that yet. I haven't gotten into yeah, that. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to get into that yet. I haven't I seen it time. yet. It is. My most anticipated show, but I'm I'm not. Dude, is it sweeps? It, is that what's going on? There's so much good shit coming out. Like it's well, too. I much. mean, it's streaming wars, dude. Yeah, they, it's, it's all much. planned. It's the summer. It's yeah. streaming wars. You got the new season of Fortnite started. Yeah. Uh, what's Fortnite? The video game. All the oh, so so there's oh, seasons. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I didn't With know that. The storylines and campaigns and new stuff. Uh, really? Yeah, and it starts in the summer. Wow. Uh, Stranger Things dropped. I mean, it's yes. just what get everybody's trying and to get your money at the same absolutely. time. Absolutely, and don't forget about the the big screen. We have Jurassic Park drops this this week. It's going to be absolutely insane. I will be seeing that on Friday night. Fuck yeah! Amazing. That's already set up. It's going to uh, be so good. I love there. I mean, the the the, the whole idea of of we, we talked about temp, temple movies. Now we're like talking about metaverse situations or not metaverse. I'm sorry, uh, but like multiverse situations and they're doing it in every freaking franchise. And so I love this blend that they're doing here with Jurassic old and new putting it all together. I'm curious the how one, they're going to make it work. This is supposed to be the final, final last ride for Jeff Goldblum as wow. Malcolm Ian or whatever, Ian Malcolm, whatever his name is on Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah smoldering over there mr dior i love it <laughs> i love the commitment the big hey, commitment. What, what are you doodling while you're listening to all this testimony got any doodles yes 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 yes, 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 yes gummy yes, bears yes. you got <laughs> all oh, right so it is bit. time um, hey Go ahead. Uh, no, I have no, nothing ahead. else to say. You sure? You got anything this week you want to talk about before we get into three of a kind? Man, not really. Just a no, uh, busy, busy, busy man. Been busy, busy. Had a lot of stuff. You know, no social calendar for two years, and then like five things in one day. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty tired. Yeah, man. Yeah, Me too. I had a I had a cup of coffee, so I'd be awake for this. Yeah. Yeah. I had to I win know. earlier today too. Works I think not, I think so. folks are grumpy. Oh, I think folks get... are grumpy. But you know, my my ex-girlfriend, she was so grumpy, she laid a deuce in my bed. 
<clears throat> and that's, that's pretty fucking grumpy. <laughs> yeah. That's yes. actually called a grumpy. Some people call that a grumpy. <laughs> well, I've heard yeah. that that's for some people. And I hide liquor in my canteen bottle now. Apparently, apparently. <laughs> yes, very no, nice I'm wine. tired. I am very tired. Holy crap. So. Yeah, man. How do we do it when we're we, now we're all getting f- to the age of 40? You know, mm-hmm. I'm the last I'm the last one, man. I'm, I'm holding strong. Hey, but yeah, man. I got a question. I have enough time. Let's talk, speaking of that, I do have my uh, 40-year-old annual. I guess now I'll do an annual checkup now that I'm 40. Mm. Um, but uh, you, you were gonna start a new diet. Yeah, right. That was, yeah, I talked a little bit about that already. I failed miserably so far. Um, I'm eating more veggies, but I'm I have not been able to commit to not eating meat. I had turkey sausage this morning. <laughs> I'm so I'm trying to cut back on some meat. Nice some meat intake. So yeah. here's my rule: is that I only eat meat with a meal. If I also have vegetables, mm. and uh, and for a couple of days I was almost completely vegetarian. Yeah, but uh, you know, then the week of the move was just it's tough. <laughs> Fat food. Yeah, and, and I talked count, about how I didn't want to do all of, like the fake meats, but it's like, man, that that is a good option. <laughs> no, no, no. It's no. easiest. Yeah, I know. Uh, you, we gotta, I you, gotta you, can, you gotta just have a eggs. Bit I can do eggs. I got, I'm do, gonna cook the shit out of eggs. Do some, uh, you know, just plan, mm-hmm. plan, 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 plan. I do have yeah, some butternut squash. I got some butternut uh, mac and cheese coming to the house soon. Eggplant, uh, eggplant great? farm. I love yeah, that. That's always yummy. Yeah, absolutely. And then, like, I have a grill, so grilled veggies are always delicious. Oh yeah. And I like stuff like uh, mushrooms and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So I can get like uh, big uh, portobellos and do stuff with that, like fajitas or sandwiches or something, you know. Portobello mushroom burger. I do love stir fries and Uh, stuff like that. Pasta. You can do pasta without meat. Yeah, dude, I'm trying to limit my carb intake. You're trying to do the opposite with it? You're trying to limit the carbs? Yeah. Are you doing keto, full on keto stuff or what? No, I'm just doing like this diet program. It's hard, dude, because the food tastes like crap. Oh, you're doing the meal? I'm doing like this Octavia thing where you eat these like thing. It It's not as it's kind of it's tough. Like it's like it's weird. You have to taste it and you'd be like, oh, God, this is awful. Yeah. Like it's and they're like 100 calories each. Oh, and it's very difficult. So. Oh. Yeah, there's I think mine's doing. Mine's. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. I think I lost some weight. Um, nice. nice. I'm looking a little bit uh, better in the mirror. Nice. Ooh. Tell you. Nice. Tell you what changes changed uh, my uh, thoughts on it is that the new house, the shower is right in front of the mirror across oh. the bathroom. Oh, nice. So I have to stare at my naked body. Mm. It's mm. really motivated me to yeah. uh, get a better shape. <laughs> Like wow. just eating clean, doing proteins, high protein. Yeah, I just wanted to do. do I, I mean, I got to get uh, more energy, and yeah. uh, you know, energy. I guess Me too. finally admit that my uh, metabolism, cardio, my vascular. Well, uh, my metabolism is slowing down a little bit. Um, I think that I could get back in shape if I was more active. Yeah, that's but, uh, I got to get hard. my muscles. There's- I have that's to get thing. you have so much to do, like, and then like to throw cardio in on top of that. It's like, fuck, when? Uh, I mean, just even early like morning walking. Stuff. Is that when walking. you do your workouts, Jorge? Early in the fucking morning? No, I do them after work. You do them after work. I, okay. Because I, I need to tire out. Mm. What I uh, I do is uh, I'll do um, stretching with weights. Oh. Uh, just like on, on my breaks. I'm gonna go to no, Pilates. Just like two, I'm gonna try two out. pound weights, and I just do uh, stretches mm. and. It's good. Uh, some squats. I got just a jump like, rope. Just to have mo- that jump rope's excellent. Yeah. Danny DeVito believes in how to do it. Oh yeah, he's one. He has had a trampoline in his dressing room or wherever for years and years. It. He had a trampoline Bro. on the set of uh, just because it moves all the muscles in your body. Yeah. If you really want to change your body and how it is, like do that fifty push-ups and a hundred sit-ups every night. 
I guarantee you within a month you'll see a change. Nobody can do 50 push-ups here in this uh, room. I couldn't. I couldn't well, we'll start out and do what you can and move uh, up yeah. to So the thing is, you do 25 push-ups in 25 days. So the way that works, this is one thing that I have been doing. I started to do, then during the move, I stopped. But uh, you try and get in 25 push-ups throughout the day. Uh, and then at the end of the 25 days, you can do straight 20, a set of 25, no problem. Hmm. So you get up, do five push-ups, which I can still do t- five push-ups at a time. Uh, it's just remembering to keep doing do what five sets during the day yeah, yeah and then at the end of the 25 you can do 25 uh any of the tw- on the 25th day you can do 25 push-ups all at once what about squats that's good too squats i just not i like don't with, know what not i not like with I, weights but just like you know just squats yeah i'm just afraid that um you know you i don't want to do have too good of a pooping, figure yeah. right johnny i can't be too sexy yeah i feel you bro believe me i struggle with that daily I, I never liked squats. I, I never liked it and could never squat that much. I'm just yeah. not built. My butt is negative. I got a I got a Hank Hill booty. Where everybody else has a booty that curves out, mine indents and goes in. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, I got a little booty too. Everybody over here got a little booty. Hey, you know, Jorge, um, you or I'm sorry, Johnny, you like to wear Johnny? chubbies, chubbies. Yes. You know, those things have been called hoochie daddies. Hoochie yes, daddies I is a thing. Where are hoochie daddies? Well, where are I have. Daddies? I know you. I have. Yes. How many inches again? Five three? inches. Three. I've got three a three inch. inch. Yes. And three. I, I'll be wearing those to your oh, '80s party oh, with some okay. tube socks. Dang. Oh my gosh. Some throwback Dang. Nike waffle runners. Nice. And a poison tie dye t shirt. Beautiful. Love I'm it. gonna be looking real '80s. Hell yeah. And you're gonna see a lot of skin. A lot of skin. A lot of bulges. A little bit, yeah. I'll pack it up. Yeah, pack it a up nice tight. Presentable package. Please do, please do. Or we're, not. We're, we're, or maybe yeah, I'll just I mean, skip, rip the pouch out. Yeah. Let my dangle hangle. We're a little, we're a little. Dude, can I come as Hulk Hogan and Casita? wear the old school yeah, uh, wrestling? Yeah, I would like to see the, that. The underwear. Yeah, I'd love That'd be to awesome. see that. Heck yeah. Fat Hogan, I'll be Fat Hogan. <laughs> be pumped. You don't see to make a comeback, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. All right, boys, it is time. Jorge. All right. It is three of a kind. And today, Johnny. Today's. The, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back and forth. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. You, uh, you, anyhow. You. All right. All right. So, yeah, th- uh, this week's three of a kind is going to be. Uh, favorite one hit wonders and the lineup this week is going to be dean myself troy and chris so one hit wonders go ahead dean i'm gonna go with uh 2004 the reason by hoobastank Ooh, that's a good one that is a good one. That's yeah. I'm on when it came out, it was awesome. And then they had that Thanksgiving performance where he could not sing and he oh, had really? to come out. Yeah, and he had to come out and like the next day. I can really sing, I can. It was a mess up, audio mess up. Oh, but right. yeah, he sounded terrible. Right. And oh, you, I watched it live. Yeah, um, I was a fan. I was until that. And then they just kind of fell off. They had another song. Music too, video was cool, dude. Yeah, yes, they yes. had another song too, though. So I don't know how one hit. They were like more of a two hit wonder. Uh, yeah. I mean, I can put. I, I can pick all of mine though, right? from the two thousands. I can pick all of mine from the two thousands. I have one that I'm not gonna pick from the two thousands, but yeah, I'm man. going real old school. So yeah. Okay. I think the 2000s was a fascinating time mm-hmm. for music. Yeah. Yeah. Because of oh, the yeah. quality of one hit wonders there are. Mm-hmm. Are you kidding me? There's more in the 80s. Okay. I'm oh, going to do. Yeah. Yes, yes. But I'm just I'm saying the do... quality. I what understand why there were one hit wonders in the 80s. Some of these bands that had one hit wonders in the 2000s, I loved and I cannot understand why they're just one hit wonders. But that's just me. Mm-hmm. Fastball, right? Yeah. I'm going to do Rick Ross. 
Never gonna let you up. Oh, Rick uh, not Ross. No, not Rick, not, uh, not Rick Ross. Rick Astley. Rick Astley. Oh, I'm sorry, Rick Astley. Mm-hmm. Rick Rolls. Yeah. Rick Rolls. Uh, hey, Rick okay. Rolls. Rick Rolls. That's what I meant to say. Rick Ross. Why did I John, say Rick Ross? Johnny's on mushrooms. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, said, um, he had a, a mega. Rick, so I'm fucking gonna super like that one because that was my first. Never gonna give you up. Yeah. But I got another yeah. 80s. Deserve. I got another 80s hit that. So, oh, is it my turn now? Is it? Is it? I'm not sure. Yeah. Whose turn is it? Yeah, yeah I like... super liked Jorge. Yep. But mine, since you took that one, I'm going with, I think we're alone now. Tiffany or Debbie Gibson. Is it Debbie? Tiffany. Tiffany. It's Tiffany. I think Tiffany. We're alone now. Let's get some. Alone now. Doesn't seem to be, be anyone around. Yeah, I, 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 he, that was one of my early crushes in life. Um, yeah, me big too. Fan, big fan. Big she fan. went on the mall tours. Yep. She came to Collin Creek Mall. Really? You saw that? Uh, yeah, I was a, a baby, but yeah, my brother and sister saw it. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. Uh, is my turn? Yes. I am going to go with. A great song that was part of our uh i guess we weren't kids we were like get, becoming adults uh we drink the lima drink we drink the dumba drink we got chumba wumba bro that's a good song mm, yeah good one. tub yeah. thumping singing songs that remind us of good times <laughs> <laughs> songs that remind- in the night <laughs> it's in the night away. Yeah. We, drink the drinks, we drink the lager drink. Yeah, yeah dude. If I had a super like, if I had a super mm-hmm. like, I'd super. Yeah, like that, that is a good one. Heck yeah. Okay. Okay, Dean, you're up next. Uh, mine's gonna be "Crazy" by Gnarls Barkley. Ooh, really? You think he's a one-hit wonder? I mean, Gnarls Barkley yeah, is. Yeah, he's man. not a. Gnarls Kilo Barkley Green is I guess not, the but Gnarls Barkley. Yeah, has they had a really good mixtape. Forget the gray you. Album. Too was a big one. Dude, he's had a one. Is that that was that uh Norrell Sparkly song or was that just a solo joint? Cee-lo. That was just a Cee-lo. Cee-lo. Yeah, I think that was a Cee-lo song. You're right. And he's in danger, Mouth. Goody dude. mob. Okay, well, uh all righty. Uh my next one is uh, I forgot to sing this song. Ah stumble you my fall. If you make sure you're connected, yeah, writing's on the wall. Make sure you're not neg- stumble. You my foul. Stumble you my foul. Stumble yeah, I'm gonna foul. diss that one, Bob. Oh no, no. I want to super like that. <laughs> I fucking love that song, dude. What are I'm you talking? Diss that? Why? Are you super liking it, Chris? Yeah, I'm, I'm super diss- liking it. Yeah, diss it all you want. I'm super liking. It. I think. Wow, that, I've that never gotten a is, diss in a like from Troy. That before, is but. fire. Yeah, it's connected by stereo MCs. Ooh, yeah. And then, okay, yeah. What? Why don't you like that song? It's just it was overplayed, and I just didn't really think it was that great of a song. It's catchy, but it, it's not like a top one at wonder, in my opinion. Mm. Man, whenever I hear that song, I feel like walking in slow motion. Those are, those are the ones that are, that are hard to remember. Like, there's so many songs like that that I, I never think about when it comes to karaoke, but they're really good songs to sing because they're, they're like, yeah, they're good ones, man. I like yeah, I, it's too catchy for me not to like it. Like, I hate yeah. that I like it, but it's so uh, good. Song. Yeah. Yeah. OK, Troy, you're up next. Uh, mine is The Safety Dance Ooh. by Men Without Hats. Great we song. can dance if we want to. We Love can leave your friends behind. I'm a huge fan of that. Song. You, don't dance, dance. Mm, you can't dance and dance and no, no friend, no of friend of mine. Yeah, dance. Yeah, Love it. Uh, you know, honestly, I didn't really know that song until uh, "Shallow How" came out. Oh, "Shallow <laughs> How." I was gonna say uh, "Biodome." Yeah, "Biodome." Yeah. 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 Okay. Chris, you're up next. 
I'm going to go with one that is a one hit wonder for two bands, the original band who sang it. And then also a band who covered it. I love both versions. This is Dexty's midnight runners. Come on Eileen. Mm, That version and the ska version are both really, really good. Come on Eileen. Great song. Great song. Unless your name is Eileen. That's right. It's a super song. I have come on Eileen. Gross. <laughs> um, <laughs> pick them up. All right. So this is a little history for you. This is an ultimate one hit wonder. And this is the only song I'm not choosing from the 2000s. It's one of the only songs where an artist had a number one hit in the US and in the UK and then never had another song chart ever again. And it's a sci-fi song. Whoa. From Zager and Evans in the year 2525. In the year yeah, 2525. Yeah. Ain't gonna be at the bean, no be alive. Mm-hmm. You pick your daughter, pick your daughter too. I don't know this song at all. Yeah, I don't know it either. 1969. It's an old school song. Wow. Number one on the Billboard and in the UK. And then never had another song ever charted. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's crazy. It's a dope song. I love it. It's trippy. It's sci-fi, futurism. Good awesome. stuff. Let's check it the out. Guy, the guy makes guitars now in Lincoln, Nebraska. Mm. Zager. Okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. All time one hit wonder. Bust a move. You got it. Yeah. You won't. You got the move. Just but you by Young MC. Young MC. It, uh, funny story. So I think I was seven and I got my first boom box. And the first tape that I ever got was Young MC. And my mom thought she had bought me. The yeah. Golden Jewels. She was so excited um, because, you know, I loved rap music at the time. And, you know, she, it, it was weird to my family, but she wanted, you know, at that time it, it hadn't got out of hand. So she wanted to like uh, appease that. And she was like standing there and she was like, open it, open it. I know you're going to love it. And I open it and then it's Young MC. And I was like, I would have rather had like digital underground. Oh, I had digital died. underground on tape. Hell yeah. <laughs> my mom was like, just listen to it. And it was just good. to move. I would love it that. Was, it was some poppy rap. So I would love that album shit. I did. I, that's the first tape that I that I ever owned. And the second tape I ever owned was Color Me Bad. I want to sex you up. Ooh. <laughs> I bought you a bunch of filthy music. That's right. Well, no, I bought that one. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Um, but so is it my turn now? Up. Yeah, it's your turn. So I am going to choose a very iconic song, and it's probably going to get some diss, and it's okay, but it needs to be on this list. Um, three wonderful, wonderful boys who wrote a wonderful, wonderful song, and my uh, choice is Umbop by Hanson. Ooh. Uh, super like it yeah super light i got a super light yeah i thought it was gonna get this no uh, that's good i mean no. i mean that song does go hard that is the that, epitome of a one-hit wonder and the middle sister was so hot <laughs> no but didn't hansen have more hits i want to say they had more no. hits. not that i fucking know no not that had, big that was like a mbop was like that was their only uh mainstream song that ever went anywhere Dude, they no, they still, had some They songs still that... have concerts, man. They still throw it down. They're from Oklahoma. Yeah. But, but they're had... considered one-hit wonders because yeah. that's the I'll only take it as song. a one-hit wonder. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I had the album. I had their album. I will come to you. Wait, wait, wait. And I, I honestly want to say that Mbop, the vi- music video, may have inspired a little bit of the, of the White Stripes Ooh. Uh, Seven Nation Army video. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's cool. I mean, I don't think that's true, but there's some similarities. A lot of orange. Right on, right on. Is it my turn? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to go with Soft Cell, Tainted Love. Ooh. 
dang, I wish I had my super like back. That is a good one. They did oh, love. Yeah. Doom, doom. Hell yeah. And there's been some good away. covers of that song as well. But yeah, that's classic. Wow. Yeah, so that's a good I one, think, dude. That's such I a good think song. Me and Jorge are tied. No, oh, I won. Ooh. How did you win? Because well, you only you got, got one, you got one super like. Yeah, and you got two super likes in the disc, so you only got one super oh, like. Oh shit, you're right. Yeah, tied. So we're tied. Uh oh, mm-hmm. all right. Sudden death. Who gets the vote, me or Chris? Uh, pick a number between no, one and no, 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 no. <laughs> Heads or tails? Heads. Oh. Heads or tails? I'm gonna go with tails. Chris, tails? Yeah. All right, it is tails. Okay, we'll believe you. But Johnny, you can go first. We yeah, we can't see you. It's okay. Okay. Uh, Johnny, you go first. All right. Uh, my other one that I'm going to do. Oh, God. How does it go? Uh, uh, okay. Here we go. It's Informa. You know, so oh. I ever play. I'll lick you, boom, boom, boom. I know. You knew the name of the artist. Snow. <laughs> is it Snow? It is snow, Canadian rapper slash mm. uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, good yeah. stuff. Okay, what is yours? Oh, hold Roy. on, I gotta look up the singer. I love anything with a good drum beat like that, man. That's fucking awesome. That's fire. I'm, I love that. What an appropriate name for a, a Canadian rapper as snow. well. Well, if we're gonna do that, if we're gonna do that, I'm gonna say my other one, and I'm just gonna go. Ice Ice Baby by Vanilla Ooh, Ice. Dang. Ooh. This is wow. This is a great battle between two of uh, the, I guess, the or the auteur and then the imitation. You can't beat you can't beat the original though. You gotta go with Ice Ice Baby. I remember that shit was like Yeah. That destroyed radio stations for at least almost yeah. a year. A Dude, year. That destroyed they, my Tape deck for yes, like it was. Years. They couldn't. And then it made its resurgence it. when we were in high school. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I will say oh. the honorable mention, uh, same artist, Ninja Rap. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, okay. Now I have a question because I have a couple honorable mentions. I I, yeah. I love this song. It's "Bad Day" by Daniel Powder. Do they still play that on American that Idol? Song. Eliminations, More than everything, dude. Because you That's, had a bad day. Oh no! Oh, I, yeah. oh god! I hate that song. That's a cheese fest. So, and of how course, many wins Butterfly do I have now, by Crazy Town. Oh, Butterfly, Butterfly. by Crazy Town. <laughs> and you're beautiful by James Blunt. Oh no! Those are the worst ones. Oh, and anything by Train. Four. Train is terrible. By, oh no! I mean, Dean's winning. So five. me and Dean are tied. Oh, oh okay. no, no, no! Dean has five. six. Troy has four. I have three, and Chris has one. One motherfucker. Dean has six. Damn, Dean's running away with that shit. Yeah, yeah. I didn't really research this one uh, very much. One of my other, I was gonna <laughs> use this one, but he went in and former, so I had to go vanilla ice. Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah. I, I was gonna use this one. Mine, uh, a, another honorable mention is Monster Mash. Oh, Monster Mash, that's great. I, I like a lot of Wayne. like, yeah, oh yeah. I like yeah. a lot of like three hit wonders. If you were 1985 by Bowling, you know what I mean? Like Tears for Fears. I love that band so much, but really, it's oh, only yeah. because of three songs. You know? Yeah, Tone Loki oh, yeah. had the same thing. Funky Cole Medina and yeah, uh, yeah. some some other uh, four wild things. Yeah. yeah, wild thing. Four non blondes. Four non blondes. Yeah, yeah. They had what's going on, and I saw the sign. I saw no. That's oh, Ace, Ace of Base, Base bro. Had lots of hits, uh, yeah, bro. I like Ace of Base. Ace of Base yeah. full album was like yeah, number one. Yeah, that first album was amazing. They, um, yeah. Who let the dogs out by the Baja? Oh man. my god, who let the dogs that's a great out. one. Uh, the Macarena, Macarena, yeah. Oh, yeah, Macarena. That was a good choice. Uh, uh, was that Ricky Martin song? Round the World by ATC. Oh, yeah. What's that one? Um, Baller. Uh, Shot collar, sugar, sugar inch by the Archies. Blaze, oh. on the Impala, collar, getting laid tonight. Switch the road, try God's spread a ride. I hit the highway, <laughs> taking money the flyway. But there's gotta be a better way. 
Because I got way. high by Afro Man. Oh yeah. Oh man. Want to be a baller by Lil Troy from I, be- I believe in a thing called love by the darkness, which is like the Ooh, third time I've mentioned yeah. them on this podcast. Hell yeah. Hey, what do you remember when Billy the Kid locked himself in a radio station? That's for- what I'm saying. <laughs> and played the <laughs> because I got high. Oh no, I remember he uh he was playing um um Barbie Girl. No, no, this was with this. Was what I was saying this was the the vanilla oh, ice thing. Talking about the, he, the, yeah. the vanilla ice thing, bro. I just watched oh. the MTV uh movie and TV awards. How was that? Uh, oh, God, you know, I exactly what I ex- what I thought it was it hasn't changed very much. Um, Teenage Dirtbag by Weedus. Oh, yeah, Euphoria won big. Um, oh, okay, Avi, you know, it's 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 demograph, you know. Uh, but yeah, it was cool. They gave the Lifetime Achievement Award situation MTV style to uh, Jenny from the Block. Um, okay, sure. Very emotional moment um, for her, and that was awesome. And then they also honored. They do this thing called Comedy Genius Award, Lifetime Achievement style award for comedians, I guess, or like comedic actors. And I'm that was Chris uh, Rock. They give it to Jack Black, actually. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, wow. That's even better. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So congrats. To Where can I there. stream that? You can stream that on Paramount, I'm sure. Yeah, probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. that was fun. Next week's Three of a Kind is going to be who you would want to host a show. Who you would want to host want to this host show? show? Any show. So like you want to do like a game a show or a talk show, uh, like, like like a talk show, yeah. James Corden. We've, we've done this before. We've done this before. We've had the exact yeah, same we've argument done this before. Because you were like, "Who yeah, there yeah. have to be on a show?" And I was like, "Are you talking okay, about okay. the host? Are you talking about the guest?" And like that was, was a whole thing. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Well, then, new obviously, one. that was a fail. Okay. <laughs> you said you have a list is one. I do have a list. Okay. All right. Well, then the next one was going to be kind of. Uh, I was gonna be nostalgic. Okay, okay. so hear okay. me out on this. Yeah. All right, the three amigos. Yeah. It's it's three guys: Steve Martin, Martin Short, and Chevy Chase. Mm-hmm. So right for Steve Martin, you have to pick his best movie. For okay. uh, Martin Short, his best movie. Chevy Chase, his best movie. I love that. Amazing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Right. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Makes so, sense. Gotcha. Yeah. And so each round, you'll say this is yeah, Chevy yeah, Chase's Chevy Chase's round. round. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Okay, mm-hmm. very cool. The three amigos, three of, of three of a kind. Fuck yeah! Oh man, this I got a toss up on Martin Short, man. Ooh yeah, I've seen so many of his. I think I've seen all of his movies. You probably have. I mean, and... these guys are. Was Martin Short like on crack? No. <laughs> That's like nah, really. no, he's just he's like well, a that's Jack movie. Black has he's that kind very, of energy too. And that's what I was like. He rolled, he came out actor. to get his award, and he rolled on that fucking hard ass award stage like three three or four times doing forward rolls at his age. No. Like, Martin where does he have the energy? Dude, you want to watch somebody that is, doesn't get credit for it, but is a roast master and has been doing it forever? Go watch Martin Short do late night. Oh Guess yeah, the what is that duty? The Jimmy Glick. Ah oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Jimmy Glick is amazing. Oh, no, Jimmy Glick is a roast one of his too. Best, That's the whole thing. Is he not was a movie? Him. One of his best, and it's not a movie. Is that cartoon he did? Oh. Um, oh, what's the name? Ned? Do you remember the name of Ned. it? Ned. Something is it, is the character's name is Ned. He started it on SCTV, and he even put it on Silent Live for a yeah, while. He put on S- yeah. Yeah. Um, when they yeah, were doing the it, dancing thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah the, I must say. It's great. I must say. I must um, say. I must say. Is he your favorite out of the three? We could talk about that real quick. Yeah, he's he has a smaller body of work. But yeah, he's the funniest. You know, you know, one of the most disappointing things I talked to y'all a little bit about uh f- discovering J- uh Joe Dirt 2. Which I didn't know was in existence. Yeah, is, is that Chevy Chase is in it? Oh, he is. Yeah, I forgot about that. Is Kid Rock still in it? No, uh, there was Mark McGrath. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, man. Oh, another one hit wonder. Sugar Fly. Yeah, that was bad. I just want to fly. 
Put your arms <laughs> around me, baby. No, he, they had a couple hits, right? They had that yeah. and they had Halo. Which one? Oh, maybe. Oh, someday. Every morning there's a Halo. Oh, that's hit. someday. Yeah, that's a good song. Yeah. Stuff. They weren't bad for Southern California. They were like yeah. one Weird album band. wonder. One yeah. album. Wonder. Yeah. yeah. There's that's a lot of those. Fastball had that. Remember Fastball? The Way? All American Rejects. Nineties music was like that. That's what I'm saying, man. Nineties movies, nineties music. I, you can take it all back. Give me the eighties. Uh, give me the two thousands. There's some good things about all the of those. The nineties yeah. were trash. The nineties were trash. Trash, oh, dude. Airwalk entertainment. You know, era. Trash. Worst one ever. Nineties. Worst movies. Oh. Worst music. No. Yes. I disagree. Everybody was just yeah. fixated on pro wrestling. That's what happened. That's why you we were fixated on. on that's why we have boobies on TV. That's why we have boobies on TV. It's all because of the '90s WWE, the Raw, the. Um... What are you talking about? The '80s fucking PG thirteen movies had titties. Like yeah, that's true. That's true. Porkies, <laughs> Porkies, all that stuff. That's Porkies true. rated R, dude. Yeah, oh, mind. it is. But we got to watch it. You know, ah, you know how it goes. Horrible movie. Yeah, it was terrible. Way overrated. Yeah, I which I, I I prefer our version, which is American Pie, right? Yes, that is our version. Yeah, that is our version. It is better than Porky's. Porky's. Is yeah, it still garbage. has its problems too. Yeah, uh, we yeah. Uh, we were watching something. Varsity Blues came on, and like, <laughs> my God, it's unedited, and some of the shit that they say, oh, it's crazy. Yeah, it's very yeah. very nutty. They say you go prom me. <laughs> well, all right boys thank you so much for joining us again here on the podcast the good vibes podcast this was episode 94 thank you johnny special thanks to thank johnny for special thanks today. for johnny you look amazing congratulations congratulations on your victory i wanted to get into it because i know you made your victory gave so much joy to troy and i appreciate yep. you joining us for that reason i believe that you just went after the verdict went out and spent 40k on dinner is that Whoa. a headline i might have read whoa yes um i i've seen all the memes all the memes about where she's going to come up with that money it's going to be did you see that a saudi prince offered to marry her and pay it off and said he would treat her like uh like a queen she, or yeah like a queen or some shit yeah is that the tinder that's swindler? Known for that's, that's the tinder known swindler for. tinder swindler is going to go map for the Saudi princes are known for how well they treat their yes, exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, boys. Like a deal. Uh, all, all right, right that's later. It. A little OT. I mean, unless you guys got anything else, no, we're good. I mean, we haven't talked on any tech. You got any tech stuff, Dean? Any cool tech stuff? Well, yeah, dude. Uh, I have like a whole bunch of stuff set up, but it's just not ready, yeah, uh, for my. I like can't see it at the moment. Mm-hmm. It's in boxes, some of it. Yeah. But I'll have some stuff going. Cool. Um, uh, yeah, just uh, eventually I'll get it all set up. Right on, right on. But uh, new tech, no. No new tech. Uh, been no fishing. Tech. Been fishing. Yeah. That's what that's still going. Nice. I went fishing uh, Saturday morning. Is it closer to you now or is it further away to fish? It's a different pond. Oh, it's just that, a different it's pond. like both of the places we've had their own community pond. Oh, that's cool. This one has a couple. Nice. We have um, a pool. I don't think it's not open yet, but we have a community It's open. Pool. There's no way it's Is not it? open. It's June. Oh, no. bro. We drove, we yeah, drove, it's open, bro. We drove by it. It didn't look like it was open yet. I don't maybe know, maybe nobody just goes to it. Maybe. Maybe. Figure that out. I got a couple. Best pool in towns over coming. at the uh, Basera residence. That's what I hear. Yeah, whenever y'all That's are ready. That's a pretty legit pool, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, whenever y'all are ready, man. That's a restaurant quality, restaurant quality uh, patio. Patio. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, we can yeah. chill all day. Chill all There's day. There's a pergola. Pergola. You got a hammock? Yeah. No, I got a couch. I'll bring mine. I'll bring my hammock. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, right, yeah. We should do that. We should do a Good Vibes uh, podcast poolside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we should do Hot Boy Summer. And then we should do uh, a good vibes uh, debate on gun control. We should do that. 
I think that's right. the shortest debate. Time out, that? bro. Should Why we do that? Gotta... Uh, only <laughs> if I can wear a bow tie. Only if I can bring that back. You make a big deal to get over it? And you want to scratch off the fucking scab? I'm sorry, Dean. Hold on. My bad. No, 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 no. Where to go? But no, it's time to go. We're it's the end. Oh, it's, the end it's the end of the episode. Yeah, it's the end of the episode. We ran out of time. Get the motherfucking puppy inside, and then you're gonna leave. Yeah. We ran okay, out of time. You gonna hey, tell hey. the puppy you gonna take him on a walk, <laughs> and then you gonna leave. All right. Yeah. I love you guys. I'm just kidding. All right, you have a good. All right, bye. <laughs> bye. bye.